All right, guys, welcome to episode 205 of Open Your Toys Cast, the podcast dedicated to the four greatest action figure franchises of the 80s and all time. And those are Mr. Stark. Transformers, G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, and Star Wars. Nah, yeah. You want to kick it with us? We want you to do that right here on YouTube, even though it looks like no one's kicking it with us right now. Um, every other week, Sunday, 4 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, and if you can't make the live show every other Sunday, then we want to see you on our Facebook group at Facebook dot com slash group slash open your toys small dedicated little group of toy collectors on there if you want to just keep up with the show please do so at facebook.com slash open your toys cast or via open your toys.com there on that page you can find links to all the show notes you can uh it's the um, in the upper right hand corner you can catch the latest episodes listen to all our old episodes uh, see links to how to subscribe to us through iTunes, Google, RSS, Stitcher Smart Radio. Our emails team at openyourtoys.com. Our voicemail 720 235 Toys. Where can people find you, Lotus? Um, they can head over to YouTube and type in Lotus Stark and watch uh, some robotic restorations. Yeah. Um, what about you, Rock? You can find me on Facebook, you can find me in the groups, you can find my eBay seller page, RockDM, and you can find the two new uploaded videos to the famous Rock the Farting Dad ring camera video channel. Yeah, <laughs> do you? I assume you have more subscribers than we do, don't 259? you? 259? Oh, yeah, I think, I think we have like 270 or something like that, I, and I've had, I've had this channel since 2008. <laughs> I hit 60,000 views today combined on all my videos. That's I we have a shit ton just because of all those booth videos I did back in the I mean, like the Clone Wars diorama from Comic Con one year has over a million views. Wow, by itself, yeah, it's crazy. But that's because it's been up there for eleven years. That's <laughs> and you haven't gotten any money out of that? A million views? Uh, close. I'm almost to a hundred dollars after twelve oh my years. God, no, no, I did get one hundred dollar check. So yeah, I've gotten a hundred bucks over twelve years. <laughs> um, all right, Cliff. Oh, I still have a goddamn typo on your name. Uh, where can people find you, Cliff? Uh, I post on, on in the group as Red Menace, or I'm found on Instagram as Associate of Horror. Oh yeah, I can uh, catch up with. Uh, how many movies do you get in a day? Do you think? Um, well, at least one, but on the weekends, it's sometimes more. I did two yesterday. I'll probably do two tonight. See, so, and so do you just watch like normal TV shows? Like, well, one, do you watch TV while you're working? Like Love well, Island? I'm working, well, I'm working. No, I'm, I'm pretty much just, just work. I don't head even, down. Yeah. I don't even get to check Twitter or anything. That's how busy it is. Um, wow. but, uh, usually I, I have a bunch of YouTube shows I watch usually, but I try to, you know, once I settle down, that's when I pop in whatever horror movie I'm watching that day. Nice. What was that, Lotus? Sorry, I stepped on you. Oh, no, I was just, was like, he was talking about like watching normal shows. I was like, uh, like Love Island? Is, is that what you're watching? <laughs> 60 Day Fiance? <laughs> right. <laughs> those are definitely horror. I would, I would say those are scary as fuck. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, if you're looking for me, you can find me at facebook.com slash open your toys. You can get me at slick McFavorite on Instagram or slick at open your toys.com. All right. Uh, so let's go around the horn. Cliff, what are you drinking? I am drinking water. <laughs> no crystal light today. No, I just brushed my teeth. <laughs> okay, there you go. They actually do say that uh, if you, you know, if you, if you're, you know, doing any type of a, a fitness kind of plan or any type of a health plan, that uh, if you just constantly brush your teeth, you just won't want to eat. You know, so that's, uh, that's actually one of those psychological things, and you just, yeah, as long as you brush your teeth uh, constantly throughout the day, you don't have to eat anything. 
Yeah. And that's got to help with your uh, your your mouth hygiene as well, your dental hygiene. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try that. Yeah, I really wanted to try some of this uh, fancy beer that uh, Mrs. McFavor got. And the only time she opened one, I had just brushed my teeth. I was a little pissed. There you go. See, so it works. It works <laughs> yeah, for everything. Yeah, it kept me from drinking, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, how about you, Lotus? Water? Yeah. Y tu también? So I'm, I'm actually developing, so you guys know that I got rid of the bubble keg and I bought this stupid other contraption thing. So this thing doesn't actually have any kind of like a side handle on it. It just has the top handle. And mm -hmm. uh, because I drink so much water and this thing is 64 ounces, um, I'm starting to develop a pain in my right arm. <laughs> Some from carpal lifting, tunnel. <laughs> from, yeah, from I'm 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 no joke. Like <laughs> from lifting this thing, like when it's you know when I first fill it, and I'm you know I'm constantly you know drinking out of it, it. There's no straw. It's just one of those like an open mouth thing, and you just kind of you know have to lift it all the way up. And so anyway, yeah, that's I don't know. I don't think this thing is the right thing for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm surprised you've put you you've tried so hard. I I, I would have just yeah. <laughs> I would have and I, and I got it on sale. I think I paid like five or six bucks for this thing, you know. And, oh, and just, yeah, it was one of those. It's one of those things that, at at Walmart. It's the brand name is T A L, and they sell a whole different types of you know all different types of them. But this one was marked down. It was originally fourteen ninety eight. It was marked down to five bucks. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. And uh, yeah, it's a nightmare. <laughs> So is well, it a KO Bubba Keg or a third party Bubba Keg? This thing is Walmart, <laughs> Walmart, China, thin. Like it's 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 funny because it says that it's you know double wall stainless steel. It's like garbage. I mean, it's just uh, you know. Yeah, if you're gonna go vacuum seal, you gotta go camelback or yeah, no, this is just I could I could crush it with my hand if I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Although it doesn't allow it, it, it's it does just a good enough job to not freeze my water, which I was going to say that's just that's enough. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> sucks. Oh man, uh, Rock, you got anything fun over there? No, I just had dinner and I'm just drinking a boring old Poland Spring with no Crystal Light either. <laughs> it, it looks frosty, Rock. It looks frosty. That Is whirlpool it? keeps that shit cold. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, our, my refrigerator, man, I got it on the lowest settings on both the freezer and the refrigerator. And Jesus, like if I put my lettuce on the top shelf, it'll freeze that shit. So I'm, I'm afraid to go up from from it. It, it has cold, colder, coldest <laughs> my for people that don't understand the numerical. Range. To give you an idea, my refrigerator is 15 years old. It is so good. It is so cold, it makes the eggs freeze and crack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, good times. Well, I I literally, I thought I had one more of my cool fancy beers that I bought this weekend, but I drank them all, so I just got a bo boring rolling rock again. Uh, 50 cents a beer. Gotta love that. Yeah. Cheaper than a soda. Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and get into some fucking news because we have so goddamn much. Um, so first up, uh, con news here, Pulse Con. Oh my god, was that fun or what? Um, I actually haven't watched a lot of them. I just uh I even though I'm unemployed, I still had to work quite a bit. Um, but first up, uh, Transformers, lots of reveals there. Again, pretty much just confirmation of everything that we've seen, uh, that we saw leaked. This is their press release. And let's get down to the press images here. Um, this little prime is kind of cute. Little fucking. Yeah, that's, the um, core, that's the core series. Those are ten, yeah. ten, like the $10 range. Exactly. So they're giving Legends a new name now. <laughs> little tab. It's kind of cool, though. At least they give you a five millimeter on there, too, along with the three millimeter, if you needed that. Um, Rat Trap. I'm digging Rat Trap. I, like I say, I, I think I am going get, get to get these, uh, 
get these uh, kingdom figures. Uh, mm. This one I passed because it was like it's like a duck bill or something, right? It's not. It's not a like. Yeah, it's like a weird bird one. Uh, I got Arachne. So I I did the. I pre-ordered everything. Like shocker. Uh, um <laughs> <laughs> uh, even though i was kind of on the fence about it, it's like i'm just gonna pre-order everything i can't you know it's all available right now so um i i may pull back on some of those because i've never really liked cheetor like i don't think i have another cheetor in my collection um i did get this guy even though his his robot mode is super goofy but he probably won't ever be in robot mode yeah Cass is saying that he uh he passed on the uh fossil fossil ones yeah i, I heard a lot of people saying that hey paul's in the <laughs> we, got, we got a couple of people in the chat we got paul oh yeah Cass. i i welcomed them in the chat and then sent them a shout out so <laughs> welcome guys glad you can join us we we've got quite a few other people too so chime in in the chat send you a shout out um warpath he's always been one of my f favorite figures so anytime we get a new one of him um i like that we're getting a collapsing uh a collapsing uh barrel i, I gotta them. i gotta tell you the one thing that i really like that they're doing is i, I like the box art i like the idea of having a half window i don't it think is. I don't think you need to see the whole figure. I think just having that smaller window, obviously they're trying to cut back on plastic, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that gives them, a, I mean, the boxes look really nice. I agree. So there's the war path. Let's see. Oh yeah. That fossilizer looks good. Tons of art. Oh, I agree. Oh yeah. Cause I get the concept there. They've got right. the alt and mm -hmm. robot modes. modes. Uh, yeah. I do dig that. Good eye. And it'll it it possibly will help Walmart employees when they return figures uh, that are swapped out. Uh, maybe it'll give them a little more direction. Possibly it will do nothing, Lotus. It okay, will do nothing. Maybe, maybe not. Someone will <laughs> stick a Bruce Wayne figure in this box or a Bruce Lee figure. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's a good warpath, and then uh, a Megatron looks great in my yeah, opinion. Yeah. It's, yeah. Good, it's good like point. evil Barney mode Megatron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cyclonus right out of 86 there looking good. And then, yeah, see, and I have, I have all but the masterpiece versions of these, uh, of Optimus Primal and Megatron. I mean, look at that box, man. Always... I mean, for nothing else, like if you could just collect the box, like let's say they sold the box for a dollar, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a really nice freaking artwork, you know? I agree. That's why I keep every single box, every single card, every single box. Uh, I flatten them if they're a mass retail release, and if they're an exclusive or an import, I keep the entire box. That's how sad I am. Um, so these are the red figures. Now these... It past the iconic ones that I already pre-ordered, the Megatron, Optimus, and uh, Soundwave. No, I have no reason to get these. The Prime, that's the RC. Let me get some more pictures. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, those fossilizers all break down into hmm. weapon yeah. things. That's kind of weird. Uh, more just glamour shots. Um, this one, this is the one, th one thing I didn't pre-order because mm -hmm. I already have this Megatron, but I do like how it just comes with all of these little, uh, accessories on a sprue. Yeah. I like the sprue know? idea. I definitely like and, the sprue idea. And continuing the stickers from prime. That was a mm -hmm. Takara thing Takara only, during yeah. prime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So really good. Oh, his head looks chromed. That's mm. interesting. Um, I did get this, even though I have these two. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, yeah. because I'm the an jet? open. Yeah, the Jet Vehicon and, oh. and that. 
I was a big Prime guy, like Prime and animated. I I have everything. Well, no, I mean I have a full Prime collection too. It's just uh, I never, for I, never the, I never saw the Jet Viacon. I thought that was only a Takara. It was figure. Oh yeah, these I had to get off eBay. Okay, but I didn't pay much over retail. But at the time, to must have jumped. Takara yeah. retail was pretty expensive. I mean, yeah. I paid sixty for the for the breakdown or. And then I paid like thirty five for the Jet Viacon, well, which those was are still really actually good pretty price. good. Yeah, those are good prices because yeah. the breakdown was geez, he was he was up there. Oh, he dude, when when we found out you weren't going to get it in the states, he like skyrocketed. I yeah. I jumped in early. Luckily, it, it's not such a great such a great character on the show too. Oh That's yeah, just such an awesome man. That was a good show. Yeah. I, I can't believe we didn't get him in the states. So the this this these two figures are only forty bucks. I think that price point is excellent. Like I, yeah. I'm, I'm really surprised that they're coming in at that kind of price point. You know? Yeah, because my uh, and what is it? I keep saying breakdown. Is it breakdown or breakout? No breakdown. Breakdown. Hmm. Okay, my breakdown is still in his Takara package. So that's why I'm saying oh. like I bought this one and. You know, I'll resell the packaged one for somebody that wants those Takara boxed ones, you know. Mm -hmm. um, these, I didn't hear about these. Again, I didn't watch the panel. Are these an exclusive to Target again, like the other clones? Does anybody know? I'm not sure. I mean, that was that split up. I mean, I know we had that split up uh, thing between Walgreens and what was it? Walgreens got one set and then... And then those those two five packs yeah, split that was up. A, and I that, fucking hated that because I bought yeah. those just for these stupid fucking clones. Yeah. But, um, but what, was the, so, what was the other name of it? It was Cloud Raker, and what was the other one? Doom. Oh shit! I have no idea. Yeah, that's wow. it, that's uh, obscure. Transformers are like actors to me. I'm yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, those are the clones, but I don't know their names. Mm -hmm. um cass is rocking it loves the box art digging megatron he's passing on the red series um but enjoyed the prime series um so i think these are just more yeah glamour yeah. shots here mm -hmm. so uh yeah i mean cool reveals so, like i say i got a ton of them on pre-order so. so how how was the pre-order for the transformers i was it a smooth uh, smooth pre-order yeah i mean the whole thing is is you have to be there at the well it depends on where you want to get them from so i always want to get them from somebody i can return them to easily so like target or walmart so Oh, no, was, I, I was talking about those the, the box that you said you did pick up the box set from Post. oh the was breakdown or no no i mean it went smooth for me but i was i was there each day so each okay. day they for people that didn't experience this so each day at 5 p.m eastern 3 p.m my time mountain time here uh these would all go up for sale on pulse so i would get all my pulse pre-orders in then i would go check major retailers like walmart and target and if I can get them at Target, I get the red card 5% discount. I get a four month return window with Target. So I would pick up anything I could get from Target, cancel my Pulse pre-orders. I would then go look at Walmart. If I could get something from Walmart, then I'd cancel my Pulse pre-orders because I just want these to be returnable if I don't like them or if they come out with a deluxe breakdown in jet via concept or you know like they're known to do so yeah. nice thing about being about a year behind and opening stuff is you know it, it's still in box when they release the better version of it and you can return it <laughs> um i assume nobody got anything from this right i'm the only one Mm, no, yeah, no, you'd no be one. correct. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, who else is gonna? Who else on here is gonna buy it? Rocks all come vintage. On. Cliff's come on. not into this. Mm -hmm. Let's hey, cat listeners, cast chime in. What what did you pre-order? So he'll he'll well, chime Cass in. He, Cass said he pre-ordered a whole bunch of the Beast Kingdom stuff. Oh yeah, he said I pre-ordered. 
oh, from Beast Amazon. Yeah. So see, Amazon's pretty good too because you got. I just like the big box retailers because they have that three month return period, especially if. And I think all of these like hit next year, but you know, especially right now, anything you buy right now is probably going to get like sailed or clearanced or something during Christmas. So you just want to make sure you have that return availability in my but, opinion. But slick, were you concerned at all that you ordered some stuff from Walmart after seeing like how they package things and ship things and they hit stores, but then you don't get the ones you pre order from months after people already have them no because that's the to me that's a benefit because i can then i have a longer period to cancel okay. when i've when i've got a year of stuff to open up before this even gets here like i'm never at a loss to open things if i want to um it allows me to see the long you know play the long game on them and with uh with all of this transformer stuff besides the clone two pack that the clone two packs the only thing i'd ever keep in package out of all of this oh, okay. this would all get opened so now a little bit different with like the retro series for joe i would i ordered the 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 snake eyes and the storm shadow and i didn't plan on opening them i just wanted a sample of their stupid idea of retro so and that's the worst like that's the fucking worst in all of this like i order shit because i think it's a ridiculous fucking example of their thinking like that's so. not healthy slick i know i know <laughs> I, I need an did you see how fucking stupid this is i want look one at <laughs> look at the dumb shit they're doing bought two <laughs> <laughs> uh brian chimed in saying he'll he's going to pick up that core optimus prime when it starts showing up he's but a, he's a prime collector though i mean he collects every oh, single are you? Prime. Yeah. oh me yeah, Frank, oh, he collects man. every single prime i didn't realize that and i don't do every single are you even doing a third party like anything that comes out brink I'll let him chime in there, but let's go ahead and move on to the next subject. Yeah. Uh, Hall of Fame was announced as well. So there was, a, we literally saw my vote when we did it. Um, so Earthrise Commander Class Skylinks was Toy of the Year. And Knockout is Robot Character of the Year. Uh, Greg Berger, Human Inductee. I can get down with some Greg Berger. I've met him a few times at uh, BotCon. So very nice guy. Uh, yeah, never was a Knockout fan. So Really? You didn't yeah. like Knockout? We're talking about Knockout from Prime, right? Yeah. 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 I mean... It's good. Like, I I don't fall in love with the way people do for character reasons because I don't prime. I watched all of them, you know, but you know, he was a good character on it, but I don't necessarily be like, Oh, I love knockout. Cause he was such a good character. Whereas people tend to do that with IDW and the comics and stuff like that. It, to me, I, I still like, character you know like the actual toy design and and aesthetics uh, almost more than personality hmm. for the most part yeah i just like you know certain characters from prime just you know kind of stand out in the show you know they they have more of a part than other characters yeah knockout was one of those ones that that had a lot of you know a lot of screen time you know no and i agree and i i think he was a good character he had good storylines but it's just i i think it's all like goes back to those characters that tie into g1 you know i have a hard time warming up to wind blade and stuff like that you know uh so brian says uh he's skipping the bumblebee movie stuff for prime there's just too many <laughs> and that's true there are a lot of the fucking bumblebee movie primes uh joe classified so this again was the huge debacle um the viper and firefly again one of the most popular figures of if 
if not the most popular, maybe Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes right before Firefly. So they make Firefly an exclusive. Really smart, Hasbro. Um, I guess that's a way to solidify your partnership with Target because they're, they'll be like, these are just flying off the shelves. They sold out in 30 seconds, you know. Um, the Cobra Trooper and more blue than black, like the Cobra Island and Zartan were the mass releases that were announced. Uh, you can get those from any retailer, but the Firefly and Viper sold out instantly. Um, Ed Arndt was able to get a Firefly, but not a Viper. Um, so yeah, these are going to be another one of those that hopefully you luck into them. Um, it's too soon after the other Cobra Islands for them to adjust any kind of production numbers. So it's not like they're going to be like, oh, we sold out of those Cobra Island figures in a day and now nobody can find them. So let's do twice as many. So I think these are going to be just as scarce. Did they say if uh, Zartan changes color? Uh, I did not see that, but mm. I very much doubt that. Let's see. Uh, he comes cool. with a monkey paw snake head swamp design extra face and backpack new dreadnought logo and art on box so mm -hmm. yeah um here instead of just staring at the oh all these images aren't very big i love that uh firefly comes with a little drone like uh shit they had they call them buzzers or something in star wars they would land on the little jedi fighters in revenge of the sith and start sawing into the the shit did you guys see roma collectibles was selling straight cases of eight of the cobra soldier they had no. they sold a bunch oh, six, of them but i saw that oh six okay yeah they yeah. were selling straight cases of them and then they had to stop the pre-order they think they might have oversold their allotment <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean that's the whole thing with Black Series and this. If you if you use Entertainment Earth, they they're offering all those figures in solid cases. Um, wow. Now whether they actually come to fruition or not, who knows? But uh, screenshots from the panel. The Zartan looks amazing. Um, we had seen the Zartan before but not in this detail okay let's get back a little bit too many pictures here so we knew we were going to see the cobra trooper again that was a no-brainer um less black on this one so hopefully the aftermarket of that cobra island one is dropping a little bit we're going I, we've got to see firefly maybe and maybe not big armor or something we've got to see them some other way than just cobra island um same thing with like baroness is going for like 120 dollars, and most people don't even want the bike you know she's going to show up in the main line eventually uh yeah the viper i dig the backpack on the viper love all the paint apps there um okay. yeah, it looks like Cass is saying that uh the original pre-order said that Zartan changes colors, but um I guess a lot of mm -hmm. YouTube videos are saying that he does not change colors. So interesting. Um, we'll, we'll see. But that would be interesting, you know, if they did, you know, a regular release and then maybe an ex exclusive Ooh. release, you know, with the color changing. Because I thought they did that in the twenty fifth anniversary. I could have sworn that like the Zartan that I have doesn't change colors, but I thought there was a variant out there that actually did. Ah, I don't. That's interesting. Well, there's multiple. I, there's multiple Zartans in the 25th line. There's yeah. One that, there's one that came with the Swamp Skier and two different masks, like Storm Shadow and maybe Duke. And then there was yeah. one that just came like armored up, kind of like does, the one you see there. Does one of them change color? I don't think the one with the Swamp Skier does, because that's no, not what the I other have. one does. Yeah, I, I think it might. I think oh, that's right. Cool. Yeah. Then I, I guess I have that one then. Yeah, oh cool. yeah, no, it's saying. Uh, this one isn't sunlight, it's a uh, temperature. So place it yeah, you put it in, in the freezer, he'll turn green. That's awesome. That's just that's exactly what the I think that's what the 25th did too. 
Yeah. Well, that's what I. No, I'm sorry. I am talking about the 25th. Oh, you just got. Oh, okay, that's it. Sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I I realized I I looked up the 25th and that was <laughs> it's fucking yeah, thing. <laughs> But it's amazing how much this guy looks like the 25th one. Um, here, let me let me drag it over here. So oh, here's he turns green. Yep. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I don't have that one. I have the other one that came out in the same way with the swamp spear. Yeah. yeah. Why does it come with a mask of John Van Oak? Color change face. Is this like like one of those weird variants, like the green or the yellow stalker and shit? I don't know. It might, it might, be, it might be a variant. He was yeah. like the first or second series. He came out early. I didn't like him because he didn't look like the retro one, so I never picked him up. <laughs> oh, so maybe I do have him then and just didn't recognize look, that color. Just go back and look at his mask. It looks like John. Oh, engineer nerd. Yeah. <laughs> and engineer nerd is actually Zartan. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the mask. I I claim it right now. That's John Van. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Next up, uh, Joe Retro. Oh my God. Again, uh, these had all been spoiled except for the Fang. So let's get uh let's get down to the Fang. Bullshit. I fucking hate this. I. So they shortened it to fit it in a goddamn box. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, yeah, dude. It's not the original mold. It's similar. Is it the 25th? Is it the 25th mold? No, the 25th is the original mold. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. And the artwork's different, too, because they had to reflect the correct vehicle in it. Yeah. So... I think I still pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered. Of course two you did. You hated it. <laughs> I pre-ordered two to get free shipping. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm um, I'm Jason. I don't I don't like the line because it doesn't have white lines around the border. But I ordered I ordered everything. Oh, oh, oh I ordered so you didn't buy it? No, I got everything. <laughs> I, I got it all. Don't worry about it. So John just John just chimed in with a smiley yeah. face. So he he likes that. No, guy. that's not a smiley. That's a straight line. That's oh, a, it's a straight line. Oh, that's a man face. Is that bad? Oh, is I'm sorry, mad? John. Oh, oh boy. Oh, we, we, we take them off. Okay, John oh. is not Zartan. We we have just learned John is not Zartan. <laughs> I apologize, John. I'm trying to make a funny for the show. Maybe he's sad because you busted his secret, uh, yeah. secret, Ooh, uh, secret identity. Yeah, yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, now Cobra Commander's going to call me back. While I was living a great life. I mean, listen, I'm going to make a point right now. John likes posting pictures of donuts. He doesn't <laughs> post pictures of grape soda. He's leader of the Dreadnoughts. I don't care what you say. He threw up a pineapple soda I had never seen before, a, a Welch's pineapple soda. But uh, I went to my dollar store, John, and they didn't have it there. So it might be a regional thing, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Brinkleiser didn't know Zartan was uh, bald. The cast is in on these vehicle pre-orders. He's got them all so far. Uh, again, this roadblock, no interest. Uh, uh, Scarlet, no interest for me. She needs to tone down her eye makeup. Um, I did get the, I did get the Destro because I like his big, huge. Um, um, Whoa! Leaving on a jet plane suitcase. So, is this this is wave two or wave three? Wave, wave two. two. Yeah. So I thought I saw wave two in the store because remember I posted the case, the first case, well, mm -hmm. the display case I posted, and then I posted a sealed box of wave one, and then I thought my last post was a wave two. So these are not out in the store yet. People are finding uh, people are, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I, I'm pretty sure that I did post in the group a Wave 2 case assortment uh, last week or some. So, yeah. yeah. They, they've been showing up for the last week, week and a half at least. I, I got to uh, tell you, I, the, the Walmart that I'm going to to see that, they are not – someone's just buying them all up. They're, they're not even on the pegs. As a matter of fact, they did not replace that uh, that that standy that standy is gone. That little kicker. Yeah. That, well, that I'm kicker, sure. Someone that. probably bought the whole thing. You know. 
Yeah, I mean, Joe collectors are notoriously cheap. And so I bet they're trying to get as much at retail as they possibly can. But yeah, the Fang disappoints. Uh, again, I got it because I might just open it instead of trying to keep it as like a vintage packaged example thing. I might just, and, and to their credit, I don't hate it as a G.I. Joe helicopter. I hate it that they're trying to pass it off as a fucking retro version of the Fang, you know, so. I, I feel like you don't get as much for your money either. If you compare that to the Hiss tank or the Awe Striker, they're all the same price. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, it was twenty oh, yeah. four ninety nine as well. Oh, that's crazy. I think, isn't the Hiss tank more than that? I thought the Hiss tank was more. But, I don't know. I paid 50 on eBay. It's coming this week. <laughs> You're like, fuck this pre-order bullshit. I couldn't get it. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh. That was a uh, that was during the blind pre-order. Right. Where things weren't even labeled. You just had to pre-order something that said action figure. Um, this I'm excited about to get a flash. Uh Cobra Trooper. Uh who is that? General Hawk. Yep, yep. Um, and then uh, Dusty, Baroness, Firefly. That should be a good one. And Storm Shadow. We already saw. Okay. I mean, even though there. even though they they shrunk down the vehicle, you got to give it to them that the box. You know, the, the box. I mean, it's all about the box. You know. Yeah. You know, the twenty fifth didn't have that. Twenty fifth had stupid. That's why I didn't want yeah, the vehicle. The twenty fifth yeah. had these stupid windows, and I like. I don't want to see the. I don't want to see the damn vehicle. Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to see the damn I, art. <laughs> I'm with you. I didn't buy all of my twenty fifth vehicles. I bought to open yeah. because yeah. they were original molds. This is what I'm curious about. And the twenty fifth, they also took all the fun out of it. The fun was putting the vehicle together. Yeah. And putting yeah. The stickers yeah. on it. Baggies. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. And oh, the blue good. Prints. Yep. So it was I all screwed. I wonder if these are coming like in the cardboard in the inserts where it's piece by piece and you attach it, or is it going to just come together like just pre assembled and in there? I think I, it, I think it's going to come pre-assembled just to take the liability of, you know, all the soup, so happy people in the world. Uh, you know? As, as much as possible. I mean, that thing can't come completely pre-assembled in there, but you you probably only have to stick like the the skis on it and stick the propeller on it or something. Yeah. You know, like that's it. But yeah, I, I you're totally right, Rock. That's why I love things that are they don't have to be sealed in a box if they're vintage, but I do like the bag sealed so I yep. can make them myself. Good point. Um, all right, Star Wars. Oh, uh, Cass got a hiss delivered for 34 bucks, including shipping, uh, wow. from Walmart directly. So, it was stepped on, it says it was stepped on, but <laughs> <laughs> did, did he did Cass say if he put it together yet? I'm kind of curious if he's yeah, opened it I've, to see what it's been like. He's not gonna open it. <laughs> <laughs> all right um let's see here for star wars uh we get new archive figures lucasfilm 50 year anniversary thrawn uh which has been pretty pricey on the secondary market the fan vote winner cody looking really sharp with his new paint uh, we get a Luke Skywalker Hoth. So we've already gotten him, but just like the Wampa that was uh, a, a, quote, SDCC or PulseCon exclusive, whatever you want to call it, um, he was all beaten up and bloody in the first release that we got with him. So this is the first one we're getting with clean paint, uh, plus it'll have the photo reel uh, face stuff um han we got him um we've got him both ways he came in the brown coat in the comic-con exclusive from a year ago but then we got him in a blue coat with the tauntaun so now you can get him in a brown coat again if you didn't get that comic-con exclusive uh this one was super popular i'm glad i jumped on it quick was the armor 
So uh, she'll be in the main line, um, but this version of her was meant to be a Comic-Con exclusive, and it comes with the extra accessories shown here. It comes with the helmet and the forge helmet and the uh, spark effect from hitting the, for hitting the helmet with the hammer, that kind of thing. Um, though that's probably what the normal release will look like just with a couple of those uh, tools. Uh, Deluxe Return of the Jedi, Boba Fett uh, coming in his uh, ROTJ deco along with a flame effect and then his uh, gun cut in half like uh, Luke does on the skiff. Uh, yeah, showing it full there. So a lot more colorful than the SB, um, USB Boba Fett. Uh, vintage collection, uh, TIE Fighter Pilot, and Rex. I pre-ordered those, but I think I'm going to cancel them. I guess they're using the older molds. I thought they would have done some updates to them and give them some, a little bit more articulation. Um, but these are all molds that we've seen in the last few years. So uh, we got some Phantom Menace up in here, new battle droid. And then this, oh my God. It And to me, it was so funny because... Um, uh, Hasbro really wanted to do this. They pushed Lucasfilm to do it. The Lucasfilm rep was even like, Ugh, yeah, we, th this was hard coming. And thank they should have held their... What's up, babe? Say hi. Say hi. Oh, hey. look, you're all sunned out. Hi. Hi. Say hi. Look, Christmas troopers, what do you think? Yeah, get it. Yeah, you like it <laughs> with the little snow porg. Mm -hmm. All right, get out of here. Um, bye bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> um. So, so this trooper is wearing a ugly sweater. Um, they all have bladed weapons, and these are gonna supposedly gonna be translucent blue, like ice. And then they're trying to carry these striped socks throughout all these guys. Um, so here's the Santa of the line. Here's the first order. Yeah, I mean, God, these are just the... Have, and have I, they ever I'm, done this before? I mean, is this no. something? No, they, they did it in a three and three quarter. They made like mm -hmm. a red uh, Darth Vader figure for Christmas. They made some Macquarie Christmas card, like a Yoda figure yeah. with like... A, this is like when R two D two and C three PO with a Christmas hat. That you know how I compare this to is like, you know, if you eat a regular bag of M and M's and they're all the regular colors, it's yellow, yeah. Yeah. green, blue, and red. This is like when you get the holiday M and M's; they just don't taste as good because they're only stupid red and green. That's these <laughs> figures to me. These are great figures, and you ruined them by putting in these stupid fucking colors. And the the well, best part, Jason, is that I listen to a Star Wars podcast. These five guys, they all bitched about how these are an abortion to Star Wars. And then they all were like, but I pre-ordered all of them because they're all exclusives and they're going to be hard to get in the future. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, one of the guys is from Yak Face. Jason yeah. from Yak I mean, Face. I, I'll, I'll be, I mean, I'll give my take on this. You know, you, you got to think, you know, uh, if you're a hardcore Star Wars collector and you have everything, this is very different. Why... I mean, why wouldn't you want something different on your shelf? You know, I, I, I think this is a, a good idea. I, I don't, I, I don't see what the problem is. So to me, so this is the only one I ordered because it doesn't have stupid striped socks. I actually like the color scheme The the DO or whatever this thing's named is as Rudolph is kind of cute, but these to me are just ugly. Like, this is supposed to be a scar. This is my favorite stormtrooper of all time right here, snow trooper. And all this green is so fucking ugly. The striped socks that they're like, yeah, we carried that through the whole line are so fucking ugly. This trying to look like a scarf wrapped around them is so fucking ugly. Like, 
and, and they and also these, made it you know, each figure is an exclusive to a different store store to yeah. make it even harder to get and from what i heard on this podcast they all sold out so <laughs> they probably made a limited run and in the future i'm sure there's going to be going for you know 80 or 100 dollars each but i guess if you you know what this might be for the, the star wars fan who doesn't want his wife to have any toys in the main living area and be like honey but it's a holiday decoration yeah that's you know, maybe exactly. sit them on the fireplace on the mantle or whatever i don't that's know the a... colors kill me yeah. so this is and this is not going to be a mandalorian there's no mandalorian in that in that wave no no brian, yeah, brian brings up a good point you know where's the <laughs> where's the baby yoda in a manger and that would you know if there was a mandalorian i bet you they would do that you know exactly so who would be in the nativity scene we have uh leia would be the virgin mary and who i'm not even touching this one <laughs> <laughs> next subject <laughs> All right, let's go on. We get a deluxe Jar Jar Binks. And of course, you can't just have a regular Jar Jar Binks. You gotta have a deluxe one with his spear and his shield that he holds for five seconds. Um, uh, new uh Ahsoka Tano lightsabers. Um, these were hard to find. Uh the vintage collection incinerator trooper from Mandalorian. Um, we can get another swipe here. Okay, there's the Comic Con exclusive Wampa and Vintage Box, Comic Con exclusive 501st Legion Art Troopers. This amazing box we had covered before. Uh, Mando Mondays are coming. All right, we see all this bullshit. Nom, 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 nah. Um, there is the Black Series. This is the one I was not able to get. I don't know if it was troop builders or what, but across every site I went to, well, I shouldn't say every site, but every site that had him at MSRP, he was sold out, was that uh, phase one clone trooper. I did get the uh, Jar Jar Binks because I dig him. Uh, oh, this was cool. The dark side Ray with his with her switchblade Darth Maul double bladed lightsaber thing. Um, oh, this was a glitch on GameStop. GameStop offered her for twelve ninety nine because I think they thought she was a vintage collection one. So I ordered like three of her to get their free shipping. So if anyone needs a dark side Ray, let me know. Is I'll GameStop known? Cost. Are they known for honoring their pre-orders? Yeah, they you uh, they used to cancel out people and stuff like that, or say the price is going up. But at least in the last year or so, they've made several price mistakes and they've honored them. That's good. Uh, we already talked about our guy. All right, I'm getting out of here. We've been talking about fucking PulseCon shit too much. Uh, real quick with the Ghostbusters. Uh, this was kind of a debacle. They showed this, uh, showed this, uh, the Ecto one, and it turns out it's just a black series vehicle. People are saying it's three and three quarter. I guess it could be three and three quarter. Yeah. yeah I heard it was like one eighteen. One eighteen scale. Yeah. Was it? Okay. Yeah. So it still looks a little small, but. They haven't made any of those. Um, this was kind of cool. The old school, like a uh, yeah. little uh, proton pack or proton gun. Ghost popper. That's kind of neat for littler kids. Um, but then they just really talked about their other stuff. What is, is this a big? Ooh, is that maybe a large? Stay puff. Hmm. Oh, well, it looks like it's, it's the same. just the one. Yeah, yeah. just the one from the package. So maybe that maybe they'll reissue them. You know, because I, I haven't seen them. They're they, they're gone. They've been gone. Is this my boy? There's my boy. There's the the one Hasbro employee I know, Bill Rowley. I got to eat lunch with them a few times. <laughs> um, all right, it's fucking enough of that. Wonderfest roundup. For some reason this year, it was literally just statue fest. Um, it looks like there's a uh, three zero deluxe shattered glass Optimus Prime there. Um, anything anybody really wants to talk about with this? 
I like the color scheme they're in. Yeah, you like that gray? <laughs> that, that, you like that gray? <laughs> Lotus, so, anything grab you? On, on, the, on the statue front, um, they uh, they showed off a, and I think it was Queen Studios because Queen Studios was, was doing a ton of stuff. And Queen Studios is known for doing um, realistic silicone uh, molds of you know, uh, it's like hot toys, but silicone, uh, oh. f- uh, you know, bus, like they do, you know, life-size bus. So uh-huh. they showed off a, a Thanos life-size bus. This thing was huge. This girl was standing next to it. And man, this thing was just freaking phenomenal. Yeah. That's so what's the that. difference with it being a silicone mold? So when you use silicone, you can literally make someone look real. It's real. It's a realistic medium. Okay. Um, so for sculpting, oh, like you can make it. You can literally make you know uh, an exact replica of you. You know, and that's like like museums and stuff. They uh, they use silicone these days. They don't oh, okay. use wax or anything like that. But they, yeah, silicone is is really how you can get that really fine detail and and sculpt um a character interesting yeah the one the one fear the one fear in the statue community with queen studios because they they really have pioneered this uh the silicone sculpting process and the one thing that and the these 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 busts are you know they're two thousand bucks a piece for you know their 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 regular um you know life-size bust um they did. They showed off a really nice uh, Joaquin Phoenix Joker. Oh, I see Joker. the Thanos behind. Oh, there him. he is. Yeah, wow. you could just there see him, is. right? Yeah, yeah, and look how much bigger. He's massive. Even, even was... though he's way in the background, he's still way bigger than the prime. Yeah, <laughs> can only imagine what the shipping charge on that thing would be alone. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, these people. Like I said, these people, thousand bucks, fifteen bucks to ship. It is what it is. But the the bad part about the the statue community right now is with with Queen Studios and the silicone, is they look phenomenal, but statue collectors are kind of worried about the longevity of the silicone, you know, holding its shape for you know many years. You know, yeah. um, you have to to make sure the temperature of the room is correct and everything. You know. Yeah, I was going to say that. I'd be a little worried about the degradation. Mm-hmm. Um, so these are kind of cool here. I guess these are model kits, which look to be, they look to be articulated and everything. So lots of Bumblebee movies. I'd be down for that. You know, if we're talking about like a Flame Toys price point of 35 bucks or something. Trumpeter. What the hell is that? Is that a brawn or is that a cliff jumper? I don't know. Anyways, All yeah, right. there, there, there's a pick there. That was a good pick right there, showing with Thanos in the back. That uh, that group shot there. That oh yeah. Just Which cool? Oh, the group shot. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can kind of see him next to. There's like Joaquin. A yeah, here. There's Joaquin, and Joaquin yeah. is life size. They did a really oh, cool thing crazy. with the base yeah. for Joaquin. The the front of it is your standard bus where they just kind of, you know, they, they do a, a half, you know, a half cut off kind of thing where the suit kind of cuts off in the front. But mm-hmm. if you turn it around to the back, what they did is they sculpted a uh, a full a full Joaquin figure as he's sitting in front of his his uh in his dressing room with with the with the light bulbs that are turned on on his on his mirror um, oh. and, and you know where he was like standing and you know sitting there in front of the mirror and just you know contemplating everything and uh so i thought that was great that they you know to me i interpret that as you know the the, the man behind you know uh, you know what he's turning into and and you know it it just it i i love how you know that's why i really loved xm studios is because you know they always tell a story with the base and now mm-hmm. queen studios is doing that same thing where they're they're telling a, a story of you know the character which i think is excellent well and i do dig with the transformers one here prime you're getting a little tiny 
movie matrix of leadership. You've got a battle damage Megatron, and then you've got Bumblebee's battle mask too. See little stuff like that. I dig with mm -hmm. shit like that, especially when you're spending that much goddamn money. Mm -hmm. Um, so coming up this Friday is super seven spectacular still at home. Ick con home. I con special. Uh, still at Homicon. Still at Homicon. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I thought this was the one where they showed all the licenses, but they're going to be showing off stuff from uh, Turtles and Transformers and a lot of other favorite licenses. Um, getting into toy news, new Gigawatt images. So it looks like uh, Hasbro took some input from the fans and blacked out or at least darkened oh they look tinted i thought they were completely black but that's kind of cool uh tinted the windows on this so you can't see all the sprue and all that you can still kind of see it in this image but this is obviously like bright studio lights on it um Let's see, just clicking over to this. Here's the G1 version of it and box. Oh, maybe not. Of course. Don't ever just click on pictures on the internet, people. It'll lead you astray. Uh, but I'm super happy, and it was probably right on here. No. I'm super happy. I love the matrix like this. The time circuit readouts on the front look really good. So they've made that's some the, really uh, good. That's flux the flux capacitor. capacitor. It's, oh, that's did I say support. matrix? Yeah, that's, yeah. The, yeah, that's <laughs> totally. Yeah. <laughs> yes, flux capacitor. Thank you. So, so Thank let me. You, let, oh, so, sorry, so let me let me ask you guys. Um, I saw that this one, this figure, went back up on Walmart. Um, does that mean that it's going to be the Walmart exclusive or is it just a, another run of these without the 1986 stamp? That's what I don't know. Like that's because they were supposed to be, like the first run was supposed to be what? 1985 or 1986. Yeah. Of, of um, So. And those were already supposed to be done. I thought people were supposed to be already be getting those. Maybe it's coming up. But I, mean, I does haven't that seen mean those have the shitty windows on them. Like I mean, I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen any of the 1986 because those were supposed to be numbered from one to 1986 or one to yeah. 95, whatever the heck the movie. So I don't know if yeah, I haven't seen any pics, you know. So Rock, you doing any of these since their packaging kind of fit in with the G1? You know, I wanted to order this, and I just completely missed the boat on it. So I might have to just get it off of old eBay. Unless it, I mean, it should still be available because it was available on Target, Walmart, Pulse, everything. So. I must have missed it because I, I when I pre-ordered the, uh, the two fangs, I should have looked for this. I completely yeah. forgot about this. I'm not really a big Back to the Future guy, so... The, the oh. Ghostbusters one, I, I love that one, but Back to the Future, I'm kind of it's kind of hit and miss for fifty bucks. What, fifty or sixty? No, thirty. Oh wow! A lot yeah, less than I, thought. Oh, I mean, price. this it's is they've showed a mold comparison. I I didn't put it in the show notes, but they showed a mold. He's just a deluxe. He's like the same mold as. Uh, so he'd be like Sight the size of like Sunstreak or something, right? Like yeah, that size? yeah. Yeah, he's he's a mold mate for Sideswipe, so he's okay, he's perfect. a pretty small guy. Um, but yeah, and if it's available everywhere, I'm sure it'll probably hit stores too. Um, Mando Mondays, uh, so starting I think on October 19th for three weeks or something every Monday. There'll be a new reveal, and I assume probably new pre-orders that you'll have to be right there when they announce them. Um, but yeah, yeah, Monday, Mando Monday on October. Oh, maybe it's just the one day. Black Series Vintage Collection, the rumored Mandalorian build-up packs. Uh, but there are also, oh no, there will also be several Mando Mondays, and something Mando-related certainly be revealed 
for the two Hasbro action figure lines. Um, so yeah, if they do this the 19th, yeah, see, that's weird because season two premieres on the 30th. So I don't know what their thinking is on doing the 19th. Um, here is the uh, rumors of what the Mando buildup pack will have. Uh, Best car Mandalorian is getting reissued. Uh, but with some additional accessories like the tracking fob, five Beskar ingots, which I think are the little money things, um, and a removable helmet. The, sus the set also includes the child with a 2.0 pram and display stand. The packaging design figures as Din Djarin figure designates. The packaging designates the figure as Din Jar. That's <laughs> its real name. Okay. So, yeah, his little crib and and a couple monies. So, I don't know if that'll be a necessary purchase. Uh, first look at MP Starscream 2.0, at least uh, color here. So yeah, looks really good. I mean, I think, oh, taking me to Facebook here. Can I just get a big picture of this or no? What's that not gonna happen? Oh my God. Okay, I guess that's as big as it's gonna get. Looks good. I mean, definitely looks better than their original Seekers. Uh, Lotus, you think it looks yeah. better than the Make Toys? I, I I still think the Make Toys is a very good looking figure. Yeah, it's very very presentable. Um, I think I think we there are actual figure scans of this figure, so I'm not too sure why we're getting these types of fig uh, pictures. I thought the I figure thought can figure scan magazine had the the final. I thought it, it was just gray. Oh, That's why I only put this one on here. I, mm -hmm. I may have missed something, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I think TF Source put this up at a price point of like 250. I don't know if Amazon oh. Japan uh pre orders are up for I know TF Source and I think BBTS I possibly. But the only post that I saw was TF Source had it for like 245. Um, 275. Oh, 275. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know. I mean, if that's an accurate price or if that's just one of those, you know, preliminary yeah. things where they really don't know what the price is. I mean, we, we won't know until Amazon Japan puts it up what the true price of that thing is. But yeah. The make toys at 110 or something like that when they yeah, first put it saying. out. And, yeah, yeah, I mean, you just, you know, come on. I mean, I think. I just think the seeker game is over, you know. Yeah. We oh, we've been we've bought into it too many times. Yeah, and and Brink was saying people were thinking a lot more. Yeah, I mean people were saying 350, you know, because the fucking Optimus Prime was 440 or something yeah, but like Optimus, that. You know, Optimus but, had more, you know, it comes with his trailer and you know, Optimus yeah. had more parts, you know. So yeah, that's a that's a big pass for me. Triple A just oh. Triple A just chimed in and said that Toy Do Dojo has over two seventy five. So if Toy jo Dojo has over two seventy five, that probably is the what U.S. The... market. Yeah, that probably is what the true U.S. market price is going to be. So maybe Amazon Japan around two twenty five. Maybe that's a, that's what I was going to guess. Like maybe two twenty two twenty five. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. What do you what do you think? Uh, good old Baba Bobo will have it for. <laughs> well, he'll, you know, uh, I, I you know Baba Bobo doesn't get um, he doesn't get official. Uh, I oh, don't okay. see much. This is actually Takara official, um, so I don't feel that he's gonna carry it. I think he he just sticks with uh, third party stuff. Oh, well, I was just mentioning because I like to say Baba Bobo. Yeah, I know he's got a funny <laughs> he's got a funny, uh, funny name. <laughs> Um, let's see, Regal Robot, so we carry, 
we have talked about them before. They're the super high end Star Wars collectible guys. They'll be putting out a uh, Rancor prop rec- replica. So let's take a look at this in scale next to a guy. Wow. Yeah, freaking. That looks like a piece of ILM record. history just done <laughs> for you. Wow. Really? That's amazing, huh? Look at that white screen. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, let's get. I like this angle the most. We're going to have to choose. Yeah. Oh, God, I forgot. I, uh, I, I think Sideshow did a 1 6 scale Rancor. Yeah. Yeah, they did. It was bigger than this one. It's like a three foot. It was like three foot tall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. I think you might be right. Hey, Brian maybe. just said Brian just said that Amazon Japan shipping has gone up. That's interesting. Oh. Amazon Japan shipping has always been like, you know, under like ten bucks. Yeah. Um, yeah, my so... RC was twelve or something like that. That's the latest one. Mm. So, yeah, that's crazy. That'll be interesting to see. So how much is this Rancor? I, I've never seen this before. Oh, I'm a real guessing, robot is... I'm guessing 1500 or 1200 I was going to say 25 Oh, from now. shit. Yeah, but that's just <laughs> guessing. Let's just... Yeah. I've never heard of this Regal company. Oh, maybe you weren't on the episode where we talked about they made a a moss a a moss eisley canteen or no it was a uh millennium falcon coffee table that was like oh i've seen that okay i've seen that yeah yeah vader desk yeah lotus the guy tom spina he's been hired by lucasfilm to actually take their original mass from the movies and restore them to the original quality Oh, cool. And then nice. he's been making like prop replicas and he lives on Long Island. His basement is like a miniature cantina. He's got a oh, bunch wow. of life size aliens. It's pretty, pretty wild stuff. Cool. Limited edition of 83 wow. from 1983. Yeah. 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 Hand signed plate with it. Yeah. No, no cost on here, but yes. At 83, I'm going to say it's. Oh, three no, you're thousand. right. It's, it's three grand. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, yeah, right there. Three thousand. Oh, see, look at that. I didn't even peek and got it right. Hey, uh, speaking of Regal, do you guys have Regal Cinemas? Yes. yes. Did you see that article that they're all closing? No, I don't doubt it. Black <sighs> Widow just just the way I saw. I saw they an have article. No new movies. So, something about James Bond that that they're not they're not allowing they're pulling James Bond. That, I guess that's a, there's a new oh, James really? Bond movie. Well, yeah, it got pushed from November to April. Yeah, yeah, and that was supposed to be the like the last movie that would kind of you know possibly save them, save them a little bit. But now that since the, the studios pulled it, I don't know. It was an article that I saw the other day that popped up um, about Regal. So that kind of sucks. I guess they have like 700 locations. I guess. See, and I, I used to be a U, so Regal was United Artists, and I used to be a United Artists fanatic. Like, that's the only one I'd go to. And then AMCs around here got all those power recliners and love seat sitting shit, and I haven't been to a Regal since. All I do is AMC. Speaking of which, Cliff, Wednesday night, Friday the 13th, 40th anniversary at, in the theater. Oh, um, it's like there's a goddamn pandemic. Uh, so I'm going <laughs> to watch it on my television. <laughs> and that nice Blu-ray that you got from Shell Factory. <laughs> yeah, I that's checked. They, when you buy a seat, they, they block off the two next to you. So, yes. You're I going to be in the same thing. room for two hours. <laughs> there's a goddamn pandemic, Slick. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking my chance. <laughs> uh, Just make right. sure you wear your chin diaper. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to wear your mask when you're not eating or drinking, but I eat and drink through entire movies, so and, and I feel like shit afterwards. <laughs> yeah, Cliff, I'm going to consume 800 calories in about 15 minutes and then you know, continue eating for another hour and 15 minutes after that. One quick thing. My son, we buy a large popcorn for him, and me and my wife share like a small one. 
My uh-huh. son could eat almost a whole large popcorn by the coming attractions are over. Oh, geez. The movie starts and it's like, where do you want me to? He goes, where do you want me to put this? And I'm like, you ate that whole thing already? That's called shoveling. Oh. Uh, Brian Brink still has a Regal gift card. Uh, oh, no. Paul Sag, yeah, Bonds delayed to 21. Uh, he went to the Alamo Draft House, Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, so so yeah, and only 10 of them in the theater. I did the same thing. I, I went to AMC to see Empire Strikes Back. And there was no one within 10 seats of me, any direction. So that I felt a little bit better. But yes, I know, Cliff, they talk about, they interviewed a epidemiologist. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Somebody that deals with ep- epidemics. <laughs> and they're like, you wouldn't catch me dead in a movie theater <laughs> right now. So. That's, where, that's where the president got it. <laughs> in the movie theater. Yeah, he, he had to go see Tenet. And that's what it happened. Snuck, snuck in with his Big Macs <laughs> under <laughs> his jacket. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Uh, Box Snake Mountain. Talk about talking about big items here. This is in our private group. So if you're trying to do this and you're not part of the group, that thing's ridiculous. Jesus. I like I said. I I chimed in on that post. I said, you know, hey, I I really like the box art. I think that box art looks really nice. I do. It it's a little bright for me, just because I always thought Masters was a little bit more toned down. But I do like the box art. I I gotta admit. But you can you, still order this if if you got money and got space. Entertainment Earth, you can still order it. Did you order one, Slick? No. Yeah. No, I, I, I don't. I don't like too Snake fucking big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If they would have downsized and made it the same size as Castle Grayskull is out of, you know, uh, is out of scale as that would have been, I probably would have done it. But I've just never been a fan of it. Four feet tall, three feet wide, whatever it is. Yeah. I would like a vintage one just for the goofiness of it. I have a vintage one. It's pretty new. It's cool, but it's, it's so weird it's yeah. it's not the same as castle grayskull it's 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 almost like it was built for a different line and they just decided to make it for human <laughs> exactly i thought uh i thought that they're they're going to be giving us in the vintage um collection uh both snake mountain and castle grayskull there i've seen the castle grayskull rumors but i haven't seen the snake mountain ones yeah, yet okay. have you heard that that they're going to do that one too uh, uh, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just predicting the future. I don't know. Being optimistic, yeah, hopefully I mean, you I can put that in weird. your collection. N- no, me? No, no, it doesn't <laughs> go in my collection. No, no. <laughs> none of those. None of those uh, uh, devil toys. Oh no, no, I can't have devil toys. <laughs> oh, uh, Paul's excited for Snake Mountain, so he must have one on the. Uh, on the on order uh brinkalizer you're absolutely right the muppet beak face thing has always been weird for me i think that's perfect um all right what do we got here we got a box tan of four um again a play set that doesn't really have any play set features but if you want a hallway you got it um looks cool i like the vintage picture I think instead of having C-3PO over here, you should have had Leia like bending down to give R2-D2 the plans. But whatever. whoa, I you know I was thinking that conversation was going to go a little bit farther. Than that. <laughs> I, I didn't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening, and then you're like, oh. okay. How about those Rock TVC for you? I'm going to get them, but I hate to say it, I'm probably going to be like one of the cheap ass gi joe collectors and i'm gonna wait for that those star wars things go on uh clearance or at least like a, a black friday sale from like megalopolis or one of the other big toy places i mean if they discount like 35 bucks i'll get it all day long but 50 is kind of a little high on that 
<laughs> Sorry, I keep trying to talk over you. I'm with you. Same thing here. I, I'll get it for 35 bucks because that means the figure's 15 and the play set's 20. You know exactly. So, um, return to Cobra Island. So these are teases of an upcoming uh, possible wave featuring uh, Doctor Mindbender and his lab coat. And who are they saying this? Oh, this is Low Light. All right. He kind of looks like Shockwave to me, but I don't know. Shockwave, I guess, had a cap with his balakava or whatever you call that shit. Um, but uh, Crimson Guard, that's that's one of my focus subgroups, so I'm excited for that. It's going to uh, be a Target exclusive. Yeah, exactly. All true builders. <laughs> yeah, I love that shit. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I have not seen um, any any of the GI Joes, the classified series at, at my targets. Uh, Neither I have I. Targets plural. I just I usually go to one target, but um, yeah. So I, I don't know. I, uh, I I would I would I definitely wouldn't want to be a collector. At, oh my know, god, collecting yeah. GI Joes at this point. Well, like I say, Ed Arndt and them did him and his friends. Yeah, but they, that's a whole, they, he's got a whole group of people, you know, same thing with, with, you know, Dom and all those guys from Breaking the Mold, they do. I mean, it, they all go wait in line. Yeah, in the morning, it's, like that. it's yeah. all, it's all coordinated and, you know, this and that. I mean, that, that's, to me, that's stressful. You know, that's, well, that's, I don't that's want stress my point, in my life. That's, that's what they had to resort to was constantly checking inventory then going to a store two hours or an hour before it opens just to get them and then even then the fucking stock guy took two figures out of the case that they were trying to buy so yeah no i agree it's it's just too fucking much i i was extremely lucky and found a cobra trooper on the peg i've seen three flints and I've seen fifteen roadblocks. Yeah, and I, the, the roadblocks is the one I saw. Yep. Yeah. Are you talking about beachhead? You said Flynn. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, three beachheads. I got the beret. The beret three off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that stupid beret. You know the GI Joes. I saw one Target had a full case of them on the pegs. I've never seen them since, except for an occasional roadblock, and that's about yeah. it. That's all I see in my area is roadblocks. Yeah, Brink said uh, two targets yesterday, and not even pegs for them. Yeah, I don't have pegs at yeah. Walmart at all for GI Joes, man. I got nothing. Yeah, they they put them on a shelf at my Walmart, my closest one, and put a shelf tag there. They sold out in a week, and now there's no tag, there's no pegs, there's no nothing. Like they yeah. got one shipment of them, and boom. If they were gone, they were gone. And people, they had a they had a kicker. They had one of those display cases, similar to what they did with the retro figures. Because I saw people yeah, buy I'm that. Not, I'm not but, seeing any. I'm not seeing any yeah. kickers. I'm not seeing any oh, other yeah. stuff. No, beyond that one sighting, I never saw them at another Walmart. And I'm talking about every two weeks, I hit four targets and five WalMarts mm -hmm. every two weeks. So. Uh, yeah, cast doesn't need the stress either. Word up, brother. Yeah. Uh, Megatron water gun. So this thing is this absolutely is awesome. amazing. Phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. Phenomenal. Um, how you would get it over here? Who knows? Because it is, it is life size, you know, and very much looks like a a very real weapon. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I, th I think it's worth a shot. You know, I think this was uh, <laughs> this was at a what it was at around a seventy seventy dollar price point. Is it? I didn't even check the price. So, I was... I mean, it's worth. I think it's worth the risk to just say, hey, you know. I mean, there's there's a chance that it could just go through. You know. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Complete build to order manufacturing. But yeah, this oh, this this, whole, this thing looks phenomenal. I mean, they they replicated everything. Um, yeah, and this looks like scheduled to be released in February. Japan limited general sale, complete build to order. So, like a Super Seven, I guess, where you got to pre-order it, and that's it. That's yeah. the only way to get it. What is it? What does it say? Yeah, seven thousand yen. Yeah, seventy bucks. Yeah, 
Yeah, seventy bucks. It's worth it. Oh uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, Brian just <laughs> called me out. He's like, he's like, it's worth a shot. There you go. I didn't, <laughs> see, I didn't realize it. Oh man, it's worth a shot. It sure is. <laughs> Uh, another gaming great uh, from we assume will be a, a GameStop exclusive. Uh, so this is Jedi Fallen Order uh, Scout Trooper. So just a geared up Scout Trooper. Oh, with his little energy baton. That's kind of cool. So let me ask, why did they... It looks like they changed the boxes again. So... Mm -hmm. Is this a whole new line of boxes? Because I thought we just changed the boxes for the archive series. So this is the one that was based off of the original Black Series boxes. So they changed them for the new line, but these gaming grades are sticking with these older versions, which are black with like the neon highlights on them. Because okay. Black Series was always just black and gray and white you know, grayscale. Um, but these gaming grates, then they put like neon colors on them and stuff like okay. that. So, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I'm with you, Brian. It looks amazing. I'm a big scout trooper fan, snow trooper, scout trooper, storm trooper. That's my order. So, um, transforming arc confirmed kind of via artwork here at least so we get the arc here in the background i'm down for that i'm down for a super big arc now i gotta figure out where to have a super big unicron with a super big arc like flying over it or something like that but yeah excited oh you can see the fossilizer here being used as weapons slash armor that's for prime cool. that's cool that's a cool idea but this is what I'm excited about, a fossil alligator here. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Um, right. Oh, and we see a Galvatron in there, too. Uh, TVC repacks. Maybe. Come on. Oh, this is the article talking about those two that I pre-ordered, and you're getting a 2011 mold in one of them and a 2007 Captain Rex in the other. So I thought they were updating these to be all super fancy and they, they're over 10 year old molds here that they're using. So that's no bueno. Uh, Devastator box comparison. So we've seen the box for it. Uh, now, oh damn it. Now we get to see it relative to Titan boxes. So if you've ever bought Titan, that's a pretty fucking big box there because it's also pretty deep too. So, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Are are you are you happy? Did you you, you didn't open yours yet? Did you? No, I still. Figures? I've I've opened uh, three of them. So then, if there's eight, that means I I have two that are unopened. <laughs> Or no, I have three that are unopened here, and I still have two on pre-order from Target. Did you um, did you end up buying that third-party set for the for his balls? I didn't. No, I can't. I can't justify twenty-eight dollars for balls. Yeah. <laughs> and that was just the balls. <laughs> I think the whole set was not like, even a shaft for twenty-eight dollars. Huh? Yeah, exactly. No, you get some hoses, but. No, <laughs> but if you get manscaped, then you don't get the hoses. <laughs> so, I'm 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 waiting for the KO version of the balls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, all right, third party uh, Radiotron, which is the coolest uh, name yet from Moon Studio G1 Raiden gray prototype here um yeah i think is is this supposed to be like an idw raiden is that what i remember i don't know I, I i don't know, I don't know much about saying. raiden i mean obviously a japanese character a bunch of bunch of trains and 
I think the original kind of looks like he, one of the trains kind of looks like uh, uh, a penis. <laughs> uh, the way it transforms. Did you ever see the original Raiden? Uh, I, I've seen it, but not in yeah. person. Yeah, I think like in the pelvis area, the the, the one bot, uh, the nose of the bot kind of sticks out to look like a little... <laughs> A uh, little, little dicky there. It's got a phallus. Little, yeah, yeah, a little mushroom head going on there. <laughs> if if you're circumcised, if you're not circumcised, then it then it probably because you're saying you're saying it doesn't look like a sausage, right? <laughs> you know, I, I I love how Jason just takes it takes it to the next level. You know? So I would mean, that so would that be considered <laughs> kibble then? Because I think it's one of the kibble. So if he's uncut, does he have kibble? Yeah, I've got foreskin kibble. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, I wanted to throw this in here because I subscribed to this. Uh, you might be. Have you done any uh, Glio stuff, Cliff? Um, I think I have a couple outer spacemen, which I believe are Glios compatible, and then I have the four horsemen's uh, power lords, which are Glios, but none of the uh, okay. yeah, none of the little smaller ones like these guys. So this is kind of a cool Kickstarter, and and of course I link to George's Instagram, but you can just go search for it. Um, but it's really cool they're doing the original Universal stuff. Now, of course, doing a whole bunch of offshoots of it, too. But you get, uh, you've got the Wolfman. You've got the Creature from the Black Lagoon. They're also doing, they're saying these are video game style figures. So they're, they're trying to go across, like, 80s pop culture stuff. Uh, um, but really cool Kickstarter, some really cool glow effects and stuff. Uh Anybody that's interested in that stuff, just go search for it. It is uh, Rocom Toys or Romcom Toys. Oh, Mighty Maniacs. That's what you need to search for with an X. John says he walks out of the room for a minute and, and it gets weird. <laughs> he, he must have walked into our conversation about Raiden's penis. <laughs> with foreskin kibble. Uh, new scorponok uh scorponok upgrade kits uh so uh yeah um 40 bucks here uh to have slightly more posable guns uh let's take a look here slightly more posable shoulder cannons uh more posable uh uh scorpion legs you get a more visible visor. Is this then, the one? Uh, is this the one that's kind of like oversized? Like they were showing a picture of what you're showing on the screen next to a person's human hand. Um, and no, it was, I, it was relatively I mean, large. No? It's still just the regular Scorponok. It just oh, gives okay. some articulation to the legs and to these cannons. It makes the shield look bigger than that little goofy one. And then it's got its head here. Um, and then that's just one of two. That's the $40 one. And this is the $45 one to give you another set of shoulder cannons, which is there four can? Oh, there are four yeah. cannons on it. Um, and then you get the big gun, which I, uh, oh, and then this is kind of, I like this homage. The uh, glass face uh, shield. The face shield, yeah. That yeah. was that was on the G1 figure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. So I do dig that. Oh, and that's a first production exclusive gift. That's the same thing with the balls. The balls are a first production exclusive gift. Yeah, I mean, but whatever. Yeah, they'll just yeah, re-release it. Part of the, yeah, it's part of the kit. I mean. Yeah, they'll. Oh, the visors are a first production bonus too huh. all right um dino riders super excited yeah. for this i'm just this... waiting for big bad to get to put up a pre-order because i don't want to pay shipping from entertainment earth yeah this this looks phenomenal like i mean just yeah. to see that package art is yeah. just awesome I mean, I, i'm i'm frustrated that the toys are just these 
you know, army men. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but the box, man, that the box, the Mattel logo. I mean, it just it's the font, it's the color of Dino Riders, like, and then the toys suck. I mean, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least I th I do think it's cool that they're giving you riders. You know, instead of just like someone like molded into it or something, yeah, yeah. like they are riders that you can put into their saddles or whatever you want to call them. But I mean, does this does this mean anything? Does this mean that there's an open license and they're they're willing to, like, why would they? This is a some kind of a, an exclusive, right? This says it's a, this. What did that say? Scroll up. It said convention exclusive. Well, it's an entertainment exclusive, but on my wholesale account, I can go buy these right now. Well, and yeah, that's I what mean, drives just, me a little yeah. crazy is so they're 20 bucks MSRP with my with my wholesale account there. I have to buy them in lots of six, but they're only 12 bucks a piece wholesale. Oh, wow. That's not bad yeah. at all. Yeah. I mean, what, what's, what's the size of this box? I mean, is this a little, oh, little dinky I, box? Yeah, I, I guarantee this is, you this is. This is, yeah. It's probably the size yeah. of a board game, maybe, or a little bit smaller. No, yeah. board game it's box? not the size of a board game. This is the size of less... a pack of cigarettes, oh, probably. Here, let's go. Oh, oh you think no. it's that small? Oh, no, no. Way. I think it's a little, a little thing filled with a bunch yeah. of plastic. Things. What do you think? They... Like 172nd scale, like the real small figures uh, i mean I, oh they usually give packaging stats on oh here specifications oh no yeah they usually give how big the carton is on here uh, I, I just here we go feel each so figure small. is one inch the dinos are approximately seven inches long i mean that's mm, yeah. that's 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 this big yeah, that's but, it's, but, that's, right but that's what I'm saying. It's just going to be a small little box. Like, I mean, if, you, if you're buying it for the, my point is, is if you're buying it for the box art, you want it to present well on your shelf. You know, you don't yeah. just want a little seven inch box, you know, a seven by five well, inch no. box. No, that, that's how big the dinos are. And there's at least two, maybe they're, even if they take the Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus, and that's only seven, that means the T-Rex is six, and this guy's four. I mean, I, I agree with Rock. I think this is board game size. Really? That's what, yeah. I, would guess. That's what I would guess. Well, all right. Well, you guys put your uh, money where your mouth is and order the thing. Yeah. And, uh, it's not a bad price. I, I don't think it's too bad for the money. Oh no. And I think it really is just a thing to test the waters. Like if this thing sells out like crazy, they're like, all right, let's make fucking dino riders. You know, but even if they're 124 scale again, they should just make dino riders. <laughs> you know, I mean, make the dino rider figures, you know, I mean, do something. Don't just give yeah. us plastic, you know, green and, and purple. And purple. <laughs> Where did they come up with the color pattern? You know, Barney yeah. is purple. Yeah. I well, know. and I don't know so, why. Why is there a raptor that's the 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 pterodactyl and raptor should be purple, and the duck bill and the triceratops should be green? If you're talking about good guys and bad guys, but that probably dates back to the the original way they put these out. But no, I'm I'm all in on this uh again i'm just waiting i'm just waiting for big bag toy store to put it up so i don't have to pay for shipping on it well how is big bag gonna put it up when it says exclusive on because i can order right here i can order this right now you'll see my 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 cool three no 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 pads. i I'm I'm perfectly fine with you with Entertainment Earth. It says exclusive, but then I'm, oh, how BBTS would, BBTS would order from saying, this is oh, yeah this is yeah BBTS see right here Look. I got you so BBTS 12. is oh I only have to buy five at a time yeah so anybody want to chip in I'll buy the problem is is so I pay sixty one bucks for a case but then I have to pay shipping. It's so shipping's like yeah, 16 bucks. Yeah. yeah it's it, a pain in the butt to ship. And, yeah. yeah, exactly. So yeah. that's what I'm saying is any store right now can pre-order fucking 500 cases of these. 
or 500 pieces. Okay. I so BBTS say. gets it. They're just going to mark it up a little bit and then, okay. Yeah. Which even if they mark it up to 2199, it's better than paying eight bucks or 10 bucks shipping from entertainment earth. But so anyways, all right. Well, that was very lively discussion about Dino Riders. <laughs> uh, much less lively about this IDW Superion. Again, just not being an IDW guy. I'm just, yeah, I'm like, just not yeah, into this, IDW stuff. Yeah. You know? I mean, it, it looks like a Chug nightmare. And I like Chug, but it looks over Chugged, in my opinion. Um, the Jets look good, though. I mean, the jet, the alt modes down there look freaking amazing. Right, what look. do you think of this rock? I mean, it definitely, definitely has your uh, your colorway. Well, I, I do like all those. <laughs> I do like all the airplanes that they are. You know what I mean? Like that's it is pretty cool. The different fighter jets and the F eighteen. Yeah. That's the uh, is that the English uh, fighter? Hmm. Uh, which. Uh, that yes. one. No, not that. Yeah, I mean, that one. Is that the English military fighter plane? I, I have no idea. Not a plane guy myself. Speaking of uh, speaking of aircraft, I, I watched that uh, that Challenger documentary. Oh, Jesus. It's kind of I watched... sad. Yeah, it was it's good, of, though. You know, it, no, it was really good because, you know, it really filled it. I mean, you know, that that's, you know, that happened so long ago and you, you know, to, to see what happened behind the scenes, you know, it is really interesting, you know. Dude, fourth grade, saw that shit live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we didn't know No, no, we, we didn't I know. know what any of you know, we, we just we just knew what we saw. I mean it's you know, so it's, yeah. yeah. I remember that that big cart that had the T V strapped down to it with the yeah, VCR. That's yeah. exactly what it yeah, was. Yeah, Rolled into yeah. the classroom. Yep. And and back then I was in special ed, so it was one of those things where there there was definitely some lively reactions to it. <laughs> um, let's see, we make works. This is kind of an interesting concept. So this is a waspinator that turns into a helicopter, and one of these crazy double double bladed helicopters too. So, kind of an interesting take, taking Beast Wars figures and making them into, like, modern modern modes. I, I think all these Beast Wars fans are gonna really going to have to, you know, put their, put their money into this, you know, and, and show these companies that they want Beast Wars figures to yeah. produce. Otherwise, otherwise, it's going to go away, you know? I agree. I agree. I I just can't. I just can't imagine. Well, and like I say, they're the ones coming up right behind us. They're the ones that have expendable income because they don't have kids yet and all that kind of stuff. So, um, Lemon Trees Blueberry looking good. Uh, obviously needs a shit ton more paint, but we see the Ravage folds up into the tape compartment. Man, their their logo is just so refreshing. <laughs> I do. I like it, man. The the quake lines in it just reminds me of classic graffiti. I love looking at it. That's a and chain of hair salons. Facetiously, but... do you guys have lemon tree hair salons by you? That's a franchise. No. That's oh, a franchise out by where I, I know. Be, uh, uh, I know Lululemon is a uh, franchise. <laughs> We're getting a, a Lululemon outlet store in our outlet mall. Oh. <laughs> I'm a I big thought, fan of the ladies wearing them, that's for sure. <laughs> I thought Mrs. My favorite would love that. She's like, I don't give a shit. That's for yuppies. <laughs> <laughs> or hipsters. Um, all right. Store report, report. So I saw these. I actually posted a little walk around. Uh, yeah, and, I'm, I'm <laughs> glad glad that you actually did that because I never we we never see you post you know your little excursions. Yeah, and and I saw these. I was like, holy shit! And I didn't know what year they were, so I'm glad that fucking he did. So these are 2015 five point of articulation anniversary sets or so. Oh, digital release commemorative collection. That's what it was. 
showing up cases of, so they he him and his readers have been finding them i found them at one of my targets so that's a crazy warehouse find and they're all empire right yeah they're yeah, all the, they're all the one empire set says. yeah <laughs> um target uh super seven reaction tf exclusive so this is kind of cool uh, for everybody that likes Dead Prime, uh, we're getting a Dead Prime here. Oh, that's cool. The artwork has the battle damage, but the figure doesn't, of course, because it's yeah. just a repaint. Um, and then this I kind of dig, that it's fucking, it's, quote, his toy aesthetic. So they painted red on the inside mm -hmm. of it, yeah. his calves and put the curly cues on there. But... Uh, kind of interesting. Oh, and it's a uh, Chrome Commander, so that I wonder. That's definitely not vac metalized, but no, maybe it's just a paint. really nice, really nice silver. You know, it's a yeah. really a high, high value. Oh, yeah. and down here on the toes too. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. To protect against cosmic rust. <laughs> mm -hmm. So those are kind of cool. I've never. I. I don't think I've since they did their big like. Back when Funko did them, I don't think I've seen Super 7 figures. You see the Funko ones, like the Kiss figures and the Big Bang Big Bang Theory ones. But I haven't seen like old school, like new school Super 7 figures. Mm -hmm. um, in my store report that I posted, $45 MP Star Screams. Yeah. Yeah. I want one so bad. Mine mine had it, my closest target. I normally don't hit it when I do my run because I go there so frequently anyways. Um, but he was still 75 bucks, and I couldn't pull the trigger at 75 So I'm going to check it. I wonder if you were to buy it on clearance and then do, do you still get 90 days on clearance to get a price drop? No, uh, price checks are only 14 days, hmm. like to do a price match yeah. thing. Because yeah. I, I was even gonna, I wanted it so bad for that, for that 45 buck price. I was gonna try to go see if an employee. I was gonna say, the other two targets I went today had this at 45, but they were out of stock. Any way you can match that, and I had been shopping all day. I was fucking done. Yeah. So, so I hit it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, you, you, you hit it in the, in, the, in, the, in the baby the baby toy section, right? I did, baby. Uh, not did the baby really? toy. The uh, the uh, big like the big step two like tool play sets and push oh. carts and stuff because it was big enough. Uh to hide it and it's so fully stocked yeah the funny um, thing guy. is the funny thing is target has you know has really good loss prevention so i'm sure that they've zoned in on you and they've already, <laughs> they've already put it back they're like this guy's not playing anything over we've, we've been tracking this dude as he's walking through the store but with this the thing guy that has the security spider on it still this, this is the guy who comes in with that extreme coupon this is that guy that buys the toys and then he returns them next week. Yeah. This is, this is the DP, DPCI guy. <laughs> Target's going to have face recognition software because of people like Jason that come in there with the extreme couponing and the red card combined with the 25% of you spend 100 coupons. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So here's hoping. I'm going to I'm going to go back and check each week and, and see if it's still there and what it scans at. I'm awful. I don't care. Everybody can feel better about themselves. Everybody loves to hate the bad guy. Okay, Razor uh, Ramon. <laughs> is that what Razor Ramon says? Say That's hello what... to the bad guy and you take the toothpick out and he throws it at the camera. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, that's good. Both from both from Scarface. Yeah, he was a Scarface ripoff. <laughs> Razor Ramo. <laughs> um, Black Series uh, up for pre-order on all your major sites. Don't play 
don't pay big bad toy stores extra inflated three dollars go buy them from uh dork side toys or megalopolis no even megalopolis charges two dollars extra but if you want them here's all those black series for pre-order so uh um, oh including this uh cad bane which I guess was another big debacle to get the San Diego Comic Con version of him with the with his little robot buddy. Um, luckily, uh, Peter uh, Peter, uh, what was it? I think it was Gigawatt that he was like Gigawatt's up for pre order. So I went to go pre order Gigawatt from Hasbro Pulse, and I saw oh Cad Bane's available too. So I pre ordered that. And I guess it's a big deal. Like they didn't announce that he was going to be available or anything like that. They just put him up at the same time as Gigawatt. So tons of people missed him. I grabbed him. So, um, oh, we got uh, about figs in the house. Safeway has coupons for specific stores in the area, and you can't just use them anywhere. See, and that's, uh, I would be that, and never giving anybody a hard time, I would just go to customer service and say, do you honor these coupons from this other store? And if they did, they did, and if not, they didn't. <laughs> uh, let's see, got an email for Cad Bane and clicked on the me email and it was sold out. Oh, Cass. Uh, since you're such a dedicated listener, Cass, I might just sell you mine. Hit me up, DM me. I'm not a big Cad Bane fan. I just buy exclusives when I find them. I like Cad Bane. <laughs> it, he was okay. I just never. I don't really know if I need a figure, down. but I like him. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, Brian just sent a. Uh, where'd you send that to? Uh, for the Razor Crest. And I'll let him chime in with that. But uh, um, let's see. Origins at Wholesale. Um, so to give you an idea, so the margins are really low on Origins compared to those Dino Riders. So you're, if I were to buy four Scare Glows, um, I'd only save 2 bucks and 60 cents over retail. Now, I don't get charged tax. But again, I have to pay shipping on these, and, and their shipping is not cheap. You can use your own shipping provider, which I assume Big Bad does and stuff when they freight this stuff. But what was cool here is to see some stuff that I don't know, not that I've seen or been too familiar with, like She-Ra. I know it's been announced, but you got Panthro over here. I haven't seen Orko. Panthor. Yeah. Yeah. Panthor's new. Here's a merman. And I think these have been announced, but Battle Armor Skeletor, the Land Shark was announced. Battle Armor He-Man. Roboto. This one I wasn't I wasn't even aware of. And Roboto's a focus character for me. Do you guys you guys watch Rick and Morty? Oh yeah. No. The the oh, the ro the robot guy, the guy that's all yeah. ears. He's got yeah. ears. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, you guys have got to do Rick and Morty. Oh, like, if you're sci-fi fans, Rock, do you do? Do you? I know you do a little bit of horror here and there, but do you do sci-fi like Star Trek and all that kind of stuff? Not really. I really? I, I watched I watched my first episode of South Park for the first time in like 15 years this weekend. Oh, you the know? pandemic yeah, one. I haven't yeah. seen it yet, so don't spoil it. But I'm excited to see the pandemic. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I I just. I always thought of Rick and Morty as like stoner humor, so I didn't know if, if it was for me or not. So I haven't I, watched. I, I it. would. I, so I'm. I'm not a. I, I'm. Okay. So I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do anything. <laughs> I drink water. Um, I would say that it's not stoner humor. I would say that it's very. It is humor that makes you think, and mm -hmm. uh, I would say it's well. A very well written show. I think you should give it a try. It just yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you know, it a try. Just just you know, give it give it give it a shot. And if you don't like it, but it it's it's really funny stuff. But you do have to think about it a little bit. But um, yeah. So. And what about you, Cliff? You do sci-fi? Oh, I think you ran to the office. Oh god, okay. we'll catch up with him. 
Triple A wants a scare glow. Cass is digging on the Manny faces. I do. do I love Manny faces. But wasn't Scare Glow the Amazon exclusive? No, no, he's a he's mass oh. release right oh, here. Okay, oh. I yeah, can he's... order a case, or I can order, I can order a hundred cases right now. <laughs> the Boba Fett of the Masters of the Universe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is kind of interesting. I still haven't seen this fucking sky sled. In, I saw, in I saw it once. At all. That's the one with that the happy smiley uh, Prince Adam. Yeah, yeah, I saw that one one time. Yeah, I, and I haven't seen it ever because I do want one. I love the fucking battle ram and the sky sled, but um, okay. Uh, TVC Razor Crest here. So this was the big. Has lab announcement. This thing is absolutely massive. What are we talking here? Where's their uh, dimensions? Here we go. Specs 20 inches wide, 10 and a half inches tall, and 30 inches long for a three and three quarter vehicle. Uh, the cockpit sits three characters, so you can have a couple co pilots. Um, they've already unlocked the first goal. And this is an escape hatch, which is, I think this is kind of a spoiler. I don't think we've seen this yet as a feature yeah. on there. Let's see what the video looks like. Oh, it's just, oh, that's interesting. Wow. Yeah, I wonder how, I mean, how are they doing that where it just kind of just floats like that? It's, it's really cool. <laughs> I mean, it looks very realistic. Magnets. Is that what it is? Where they give no, magnets no. above and then they, they slow down the the, the force uh, that's needed. It's it looks really like a cool. space coffin popping out of there, you know. Uh oh, Brian said in and Facebook. Let me get over to Facebook here for the chart. Um, so the next thing to get unlocked at ten thousand backers. Uh, we're at 9,341 will be a carded child that will come with an exclusive, supposedly, uh, hover pram. What's a pram engineer nerd or Lotus? Do you know? Not to discount that you don't know cliff, but uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know I, what the word pram means. I just assumed it was a bat, like a bassinet. <laughs> that could be true. Space, so just space, crib. <laughs> space crib. Space <laughs> crib. All right, here. Let's uh, let me get this sucker open here and move it up into our purview. Okay, so uh, Ryan's run these charts of all the has labs that have happened. Oh, except for I don't see Cookie Monster would probably be this oh, really sad line Cookie like Monster. way down there at the bottom. Mm. Um, but it's yeah, the so only, you... it's the only one that John ordered was Cookie Monster. <laughs> um, so you can see the green is the sail barge, and you can see the trajectory here. They always kind of shoot up right at the end of it. Um, this. Very notable line is the Sentinel here, the blue. So you can see that the Razor Crest is tracking really closely to that Sentinel. And now it actually, with the 9,300, be somewhere right up in here. But good on you, Brinkalizer, for fucking putting this together. It is really interesting to see this stuff, like the projected lines and what the actual turns out to be. Now... I don't think this is going for 90 days, right? I, I can't remember. Um, I thought it was a shorter turnaround here. 11.9. Uh, so, yeah, just 45 days? Because this was just announced. So, yeah, September 25th to November 9th. So, essentially 40, a month and a half on it so, so how many did you order slick none not a spaceship guy and, and i think i peter i think peter's on here did you did you end up ordering it he was thinking about kind of waiting to the end to see what 
every what all the uh, what all the uh, uh, unlocks are. What's the what's the price on this? Three fifty. Uh, yeah, tax but no shipping. Mm-hmm. So there's one big difference between this and the sail barge on that Star Wars podcast I was listening to today. They never mention on here that they will not re-release the Razor Crest. The sales bar it exclusively said it will never be released again. They, no, no, that no. lingo is not in here on this. Yeah. So, so with the sale barge, because this was back when it was going on, this was a big point of contention. They said they'll never release it as is. Yeah. Meaning that it comes with a carded yak face and a car, so they 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 kind of reserve the right to release it again, just not with the exact same features. As I mean, the you know how Aslan. you know how Star Wars ships are. I mean, how many vehicles have we gotten? And then it's the battle damage version. Where yeah. in the show, this ships had the engine blown out, so it wouldn't be much to put a you know change in engine covering and. A couple burn decals on, and there you go. It's the battle damaged Razor Crest. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Alias Angel Alias loves his uh, spaceship, so he's all about this. He says he'll do it in the uh, last five days or and so. And ask Peter, where's he sticking yeah. this thing? How <laughs> yeah, much stuff is going to sell? Jamming in a D default. <laughs> <laughs> at least with a spaceship you can do the fishing wire and hang it from your roof thing i have i have tons of like helicopters and stuff like that that i plan to do that with and just never did it with so all right um let's see a uh, devastator reissue if anybody needs that the the good old titan class combiner wars it's been reissued so you can find that Oh, what is this? Hasbro confirmed. Oh, this is crazy. I thought this was like a wide reissue. Oh, here. will be exclusive to Amazon globally. We should expect more li- listings. Oh, on Amazon, closer to Amazon Prime Day. Yeah. Um, TBS Mando credit series. Okay, so this this one sucked me in. So originally I was just going to do the Mandalorian. So these are black series, six inch figures. So at the end of it, at the end of each episode, they have these high contrast uh, kind of like hand painted scenes. So yeah, they've like taken the those. Yeah, exactly. So they've taken those and they've make, made them card backs and repainted the figures and put them on carded backs like this. I think that's cool. I love it. I originally, you can see it. You last purchased this item on September 21st. Um, Again, if you didn't jump on them that day, they sold out. And I missed all of them except for the Target one. So hopefully I'm going to find her in the store. Because it's like one of those things, like I either want all of them or I just want the Mandalorian. You know, that kind of thing. So I I love these. I love this kind of deep cut shit like this. So, and again, like we talked about with the uh, holiday troopers, every single figure was a different retailer. So it was pain in the ass. But, and of course, they're all more expensive. They're all 25 bucks. Um, come on. Hey, hey Jason, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How many hours did it take to place like all these orders for all these? Oh different... my god! It seems like yeah. it's a full time job just trying to collect all these toys. Those, those those two days, those Pulse Con days, like I was watching the panel some of the time, and then I'd wait for. I would say each like pre order session would be an hour and a half to two hours. Mm-hmm. Like wow. bouncing back and forth, confirming orders, because everyone would would spin, you know, because everybody else was trying to pre-order. So it wasn't like go Amazon, buy it now, check out, you know, that kind of shit. Um, so it, yeah, I mean, it it was two hours a day, 
every time there's a special event, I sit there and watch the event and then the pre-orders go live. Peter and I just kind of chat the whole time because <laughs> he's doing the same thing. So we just chat over Facebook while, like, oh, shit, this is up. And I got to give big props to Peter. He's he's on the links far more than I am. Like, I'm like, I can't find this. And he'll send me a link for it and shit like that. So, um, oh, we got Eric Perez in the in the chat. Welcome, Eric. Red. Uh, ringside redskin up on there. Uh, let's see. The Falcon was stuck from, yeah, I found a Millennium Falcon at one of my targets. Still haven't found anybody except for Rex as the, uh, the Black Series figures, but I did find one of those Falcons for 400 bucks. Um, Bo -bo boom Yeah, too rich for Cass's blood. I freaking agree. But I'm waiting for it to go on clearance. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hide it, unfortunately. I don't know where the fuck I would hide that. You'd have to, like, hide it behind mattresses or something like that. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and get into what we got. We're already going on two hours here. Um, Cliff, you're right below me. What you got, bro? Um. I got what? I got a bunch of Marvel Legends stuff. I got the Deadpool two pack uh, with him and Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Ooh, I got nice. Did you find that in the wild or was that a pre -order? Amazon. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Forget. And then I got the uh, the Magneto Professor X Marvel Legends two pack with the both the young heads and the old heads. Nice. Dig that one. Um, I got the second Wolverine well, Marvel, the second Hugh Jackman Wolverine Marvel Legend. Oh, okay. The one with the coat as opposed to the tank top. Mm -hmm. um, I got the that new War Machine with all the like special like blast effects and stuff. Cool. Um, and then the uh, the 80th anniversary Iron Man. I picked him up finally. And then I got the uh, the Spin Master Bat Cave. Oh, nice! I didn't even realize that was out. Yeah, it was on Amazon for like forty four bucks, and it's it's awesome. It's huge. It's double sided, so it's like a three level bat cave, and on the other side, it's like a three level Gotham City. Oh, oh that's cool. sounds cool. I gotta Google so what like that a, looks like. Like a street level, one story up, and then a under street level, or yeah, like a like a sewer for Killer Croc, a street that's level, that's and then building tops. That's fucking cool. Hmm. I like that. I can grab you. Want me to grab it? It's under my bed because it's huge. <laughs> hey, if you don't on. want, I'd like to see that. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Give me one second. I don't want you to see my fat ass get up, so I'm turning the uh, camera. Up. Oh, God. Jesus. Skinniest guy out of all, Sorry. all of I'll us. I'll show my tits Lotus. on you while, you, while you're going to get Yeah, it. I was going to say, I, I think Lotus <laughs> is a bodybuilder. That's my new guess. So I think I think Cliff is smaller than, than you and I, Rock, for sure. <laughs> I'm at 221. <laughs> 250. It's 285. Yeah. Yeah, so, Rock. It came shipped in its actual shipping case. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you mean you haven't even opened it? You're just going off the pictures. Nice. Yeah. Look at this. We're, get, we're getting a uh, what the fuck is in the box live. ginormous oh here i'll show you the back because it shows oh, and it gold. came with a figure for 45 bucks oh here let me oh let me do this oh talk cliff all right i'm right here oh damn it how can i make it go to cliff specifically i don't know how to do that all right that's as good as we're gonna get that's yeah. pretty cool oh yeah i did with that. the figure oh. for 45 bucks you can't beat that yeah, hell yeah. So, yeah. and then yeah, the figure comes with is the actual uh, blue and blue and gray Batman. Oh, that's cool. I would have said an Alfred would have been better. Especially. I always, I think all Batcave should come with fucking Bruce Wayne. <laughs> like, oh, that that makes even more sense. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. And then you could have clip on Bruce armor Man. if you really want. But I just want to. <laughs> I'll have to make a Bruce Wayne out of like a Shazam. <laughs> But I really thought it was kind of cool. And then not only that, but you can also separate the three levels into individual levels. 
Oh, that's dope. That's even better. And just think, that is five dollars cheaper than the Hasbro fucking alleyway. Hallway. You know, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Or the the Besman playset. Look at how much work went into the design of that toy for forty five dollars. I really dig this line. It's it, it's got superpowers written all over it to me. So yeah, I've been buying yeah. the figures that I find. Yeah, that's that's a great job they did with that product. So superheroes all up in in Cliff's Grill, yo. What about you, Rock? Any thousand dollar carded vintage? <laughs> uh, well, I I did get uh, the Cobra Battle oh, Gear three pack, nice unpunched, un which is nice, but I can't put it on my rack now. Is yeah, that I mean, uh is the big red thing? Is that a uh, scrap iron missile launcher? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, this is all nice. the official the gear of all the bad guys. So yeah, it's got like, Firefly stuff, Baronesses, Destro. Hell yeah. Major blood. I mean, it was pretty I cool. Mi I miss shit like that. Shit. I miss weapons packs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm filling, filling in my 85 to 86 run. I got a nice Zorana mint on that. card. I got. Well, the figures the, meant. From the same. <laughs> well, the, yeah, the card, the card's a little bit, but uh, I got a, hey. a lifeline. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> and then, you know, I'm trying to finish my straight arm run. So I, last time I was on, I showed my uh, stalker that was from, uh, what was it, Action Force? Well, yeah. I, upgrade, I upgraded to a straight arm stalker. So you did get a $1,000 <laughs> vintage figure in. Uh, nice. No, no comment. <laughs> no comment, but I'm, That won't I'm, be on the record. <laughs> I'm down to uh, just Cobra Officer and Scarlet to complete my straight arm uh, mint on card run. So I if you know, got one uh, for under, a, if you have a Scarlet for under a grand and you're out there, hit me up. I was going to say, are those two of the more pricey ones, I assume? Scarlet, Scarlet I imagine. Yeah. Scarlet's a grand. But the thing is, if I'm going to spend a grand, I might as well get a graded one. And Cobra Officer, there's only one on eBay. He's $500 and it's a reseal, which is oh, insane to me. Yeah. So is, those are the two I'm after. Those are my white whales and. I was watching a Cobra Commander today that was at twenty six hundred and like, yeah, no, no. Cass Too says much. Those retro droves are great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of. I'll be honest with you. This whole last couple of weeks, I've been really uh, bummed out with the whole toy collecting situation <laughs> where. I can't be watching three thousand dollar figures anymore. It's just like yeah. I'm, I, I bought a new house. I'm having a house built, and everything I want on it, every extra is uh, you got to come up with cash for the builder. And he oh, wants, really? Yeah, like everything's got to be like up front. You can't put it into the mortgage. You know, I found out my closing costs are going to be like thirty six thousand on this house. Damn. So I'm like, yeah, so the toy buying is slowing down right now. <laughs> I so, can imagine. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah, new construction, they bang you on everything. So I'm kind of like, the toy buying is like, you know, whatever's in my PayPal is in my PayPal right now, and we'll see what happens from there. But, yeah, no more big, big purchases for a while. Damn, that means I'm not going to get the eBay kickback. Ah! <laughs> um, Lotus, what about you? Did you pick up a, a new nose for your... Your Billy Bob or anything? No, just uh, just had to replace all my solenoids. But uh, oh. so no, uh, nothing special. But Brink uh, actually has a good question here. Um, so, which version of Fort Max does Lotus use for uh, his profile pick? And um, so that's not Fort Max. It's yeah, it's Grand Max. And the reason why I did Grand Max is because when I was in my G1 buying spree back in 2010, I bought a brand new Fort Max from Japan. Um, it was open, but stickers unapplied. Everything still sealed in its baggy. And uh, I don't know. I don't. You know, I know nothing about the character, but it was just one of those things where I got caught up in the hype of everyone saying that was a Grail piece, 
And so I plopped down two grand. And this was back, this was back in 2010. So I, I, I felt it was a great deal. It was two grand. And I just thought that, you know, it was a phenomenal deal. You just didn't see box grand maxes up there, you know? And, uh, so I bought it and, um, you know, that's it. I mean, you know, <laughs> it was, you know, it was like, <laughs> exciting. I, th I think it's one of my earliest YouTube videos, honestly. I think it's one of my earliest, earliest videos. Actually, I think the video on YouTube is when I was selling it. I think that was when I was, uh, yeah, I think because uh, I signed up on YouTube in 2013. So, yeah, that was probably when I was actually selling it, where I was. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I actually had a Grand Max that I physically was able to open. And, you know, I, I didn't transform it or anything. I just left it all, <laughs> you know, the way it was. You know, kind of, I was kind of scared to transform it, you know. Well, the way the prices of vintage toys have gone up, have you seen what that sells for today? You can't, you can't find it. I mean, if you find it, you're you're looking at about five grand. If you wow. can find it, I I just don't think at this point you're going to be able to find a uh, a new. And when I mean new, I'm just talking about you know, um, you complete. know, stuff still in the complete stuff still in in the in its baggies with, you know, com with stickers on the sheet and the sticker sheet for mine was kind of wrinkled. Like it wasn't, it wasn't perfect. Um, but it was a perfectly white, you know, that's the thing is the, the figure has a lot of white and, uh, with the bromide that they would use back in the day for Nintendos and, you know, the, the fire retardant called bromide, that's what, mm -hmm. That's what causes, uh, you know, that the bromide basically comes to the surface of, of our toys. And, um, and that's what is the yellow is actually that chemical that's rising and separating from the composition of the actual plastic itself. And uh, it's just a plasticizer kind of a thing. Um, so, yeah, so that's, uh, you know, it was a totally white figure, which is, you know, kind of unheard of, you know, to have you know, a vintage figure like that. And, you know, to, to get it from Japan was also, you know, a fun experience as well. You know, it was like my first, you know, kind of overseas kind of a deal, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it was, um, you know, it was, it was cool. You know, like I said, knew nothing about the character, but I, I, bought, um, I bought a Fort Max, I had Grand Max, and then I bought Brave Max. And I had all of them in my detolfs on the bottom of the detolf because what are you going to do, you know? <laughs> what are you going to do in a detolf, you know? So that was when I had all of my you know, 15 detolfs lined up. And Did you have to remove the bottom shelf to fit that figure in there? Yep. I'm looking yeah, at the that's figure. exactly what I did. That is, yeah, exactly what it is. I, I removed the bottom shelf and stuck them in there. And then I started using the U-bolts. You know, I, I used the... Uh, basically, uh, you would go to Lowe's or Home Depot and, and buy these little bolts that are uh, normally purposed to put ropes together. You take ropes and you can actually put U-bolts on these ropes. And I don't really know what you do with them from there. But well, we, we use those at my job when we cable do trees. You? Yeah. Is that? Yeah. So Tree cabling. Yeah. Okay. Or metal, metal cabling. It's a, yeah. you loop it and loop then you it. crimp it and you crimp it together. But okay, yeah, we cool. do that on trees. So you can take those same U-bolts, and the idea was you just put them around the uh, the detolf, the inner skeleton of the detolf. It would fit perfectly. Uh, I think they were like three sixteenths uh, size diameter, and uh, yeah, you just the you just position them in there so that way the the bolt, uh, the nut and the bolt would kind of stick out a little, just enough so you could rest your shelf on there, and and that that is the. Uh, that's the do-it-yourself way of raising and lowering and having custom shelves in a detolf. So yeah, I've seen was, people do that with, G, with three and three quarter figures. They can add like an extra shelf per, at least one per rung, so you can make it like eight yeah. shelves in there. I mean, with three D printing now, you can you can print your own you know shelf extender. But that was what we did back in the day. But yeah, so that's the story of Grand Max. Um, you know, he came with uh, the Pretender shell, which was really really cool i mean to have that pretender shell that original pretender shell and um just phenomenal like i said if you ever want to see a video of it you know you can hop over to my youtube channel it's like one of the oldest videos that's on there so yeah i'm gonna check that out 
but that's it. That's the, that's the, you know, I thought it was cool to, you know, put that as my avatar. And, uh, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I got caught up in all the hype of, of everyone talking about, Oh, this is a grill. I'm like, okay, well I'll, I'll go buy a grill. You know, it, it doesn't really mean anything to me. It's just, Oh, you, you know what the funny thing is guys is I, the, 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 the irony of all of this is I don't share pictures. I, I don't share anything. I, I, the only thing I have is my YouTube channel. So if you don't see it there, you're never going to see it. Like I don't show any collection pictures. I don't share. I don't say, Hey guys, I just got this new figure or Hey guys, I just got this new statue. I don't do any of that. You know, so I don't know. It's just um, I think it's it's just funny that I still, you know, throughout my whole collecting history, I still get caught up in the hype. But then I'm not one of those people to show anybody what I got, you know. But yeah. it is nice getting a grail, though. I mean, like I know when I got that straight arm snake eyes last year at Baltimore Comic Con, that was like, whoa, you know, you know, I, I think it is a big deal getting a grail. I got my yeah, I my grail last last year for my birthday. I finally bought Han and Carbonite. That's been a grail of mine since I was a kid. Like a vintage one, Power of the Force one, like Power the, the Force eighty five. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah. All right. Let me. Uh, I may not uh, have super cool stuff or very expensive stuff, but I got quite a bit. Um, after complaining about never seeing the Motu minis, I, I found a, a whole case of them. So uh, the only one that I didn't, the case didn't have was the Slime Pit He-Man, which I really want. But um, yeah, Jitsu is one of my favorite characters, and I was really disappointed in this guy because he is mad fucking yellow. Like, really? You can't do them in gold, you know? But. Anyways, a uh, little disappointed in Trap Jaw. He only comes with his claw attachment. He doesn't come with, so they all only come with one accessory. He Man comes with a sword, Skeletor is Havoc Staff, that kind of thing. So, a little bit disappointed in those, but the little gray skulls are, are cool. Um, these, one of those things you jump in with both feet and then don't realize how much, how expensive they're actually going to be. I got some Midori custom cassettes. So this is a person. Um, she's a collector and uh, of cassettes, and she designs them. And her husband helps her three D print them and put them all together. She's in the UK, so this is kind of cool. This is a this is a mammoth, and it's got a cool gun that it puts on. So they 3D print them on Shapeways, but then they get all the right pins and screws and everything they need, and they put them together for you. And it's been a long time since she's done any of these customs. And on a group I'm a part of, which is like, I forget what it's called, cassette transformers or something like that, she put up there to do pre-orders and people went crazy. And some dude bought like, she has something like 24 different designs and some dude bought like every design and these were pricey. These were 25 to 35 bucks a piece, unpainted shapeways prints. Um, and then you had to pay shipping like signature verified from the UK and shit. So the shipping was expensive. Wow. Yeah, so these yeah. cost about fifty bucks a piece for Shapeway. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a it's kind of a unique know. item. So, so these are cool. So these are dual Cobras, and I just put their guns oh. in different places. But what's dope is these each make a half of a cassette. So this is one cassette that breaks down into these two different Cobras. And I mean, the quality is amazing. Like the, the tolerances and everything are really good on most of it. There are a few loose pieces and stuff, but I like, like that I say, a lot. It was, it was cool to support, support something fan made. And it was cool to get something from she's, she's, she's pretty legendary in the cassette 
community. Um, so it's cool to have a couple samples of her work, but that'll probably be the only time I buy those again at 50 bucks a piece. Um, cause now I have to paint them and my painting skills suck. Send them to cliff. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Uh, I got a new uh, Black Major, a couple a couple sets from Black Major here. So I got a a V two version snow camel snow camo snake eyes. So he's got a little white and black uh, timber there. And then this was kind of cool. This is the first time I've seen him do this, where he just literally sold kits to make your own figures. So these are Python Patrol, uh, Crimson Guard, and then Python Patrol, little guy in a beret with some extra weapons. So I got those. Uh, let's see. Uh, I did, I was able to pre-order Captain Cardinal. So that's... Uh, it's like the red Phasma, right? Yeah, the red, like, first order with a, with a little cape on them. Uh, from the Galaxy's Edge. Uh, speaking of Star Wars, of those sets that they announced, this was the only one I got, the Galactic one. So this has a Biker Scout, Snow Trooper, TIE Fighter Pilot, and then a uh, Snow or a Sand Trooper. And then it's got an exclusive like black R2-D2 unit. But... Uh, Planned to keep this in the box. Ordered it on Best Buy. It's a Best Buy exclusive. Full-on uh, razor slash across the entire top of it. Must have been the one in the middle of the box. So it'll go back when I can find a replacement for it. Uh, let's go. That's September. Let's get into October. <laughs> Uh, I found the Target exclusive Leadfoot, the Studio Series Deluxe Leadfoot. Um, oh, these. Yes. Found these little mofos. These are hitting heavily in my Walmarts, at least. Yeah, I haven't so seen those little, yet. Yeah, the little Nano. The G.I. Joe. Uh, G.I. Joe and I've seen the owners. Yeah, I've seen those. Wait, 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 wait. No, I haven't seen that. That's got Starscream in it. Yeah. Oh, I haven't yeah, seen this, that. This is the G1 one, not the movie ones. Okay, no. Yeah, I haven't seen either of those packs yet. And I check the Hot Wheels aisle all the time. Yeah, they these are showing up at both my Walmarts and my Targets now because I bought two of each <laughs> so i can open <laughs> one and, and keep one in the box uh, the addiction the, the have sickness. any of you guys seen the world's smallest have you have you ever seen any of them yet yeah, yeah. i okay. i see the transformers all the time yeah I, the, I saw i saw the gi joe ones again the other day at target so just keep an eye out they're for me they're um you know the aisle that is right next to like the self-checkout where they have like the Magic the Gathering the cards and oh, they basketball were there. cards. Yeah. That's where they're that's yeah. where they are. Is they're in that aisle. Oh, okay. Yeah. And mine has mine has a smaller version of that aisle in the toy aisle. And mine actually has them in both places. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen them yet by me. Yeah, I've I've picked up two of the snake eyes, one to open and one to keep in its little package, even though the package is resealable and all that. But mm -hmm. what what I'm still missing is a second He Man to open up to put on my battle cap. So that's the one that I'm still missing from World Smallest. But I've never yeah. seen that battle cat that was the boxed one. I've never seen that. Oh, really? Oh, and it's so dope because just like how the cards are resealable on those, the so is the Battle Cat box. That's awesome. Yeah, you can, That's awesome. you can pull it out. It has a little plastic tray that you yeah. can put it back in and reseal That's so it. so cool. Uh, AAA wants three times the sets of the, the G.I. Joe vehicles. I'll grab them. They're hitting in mass now. I Like I say, it, it, 
No. Oh, and he's gone. All right. <laughs> Part of the show where we can take over. Uh, don't know why he has Sorry, left. The building, I but do that all the time. I hit the back button when I'm trying to go to my Excel we, spreadsheet. That's the best part of the show. You do it all the time. You why does Peter need three sets of those? That's crazy. <laughs> he loves little, he likes making little dioramas and stuff. Uh, and then I found the, uh, I found the, reissue blaster so found two mint boxes of it one for me and one for mark haddock um and then Blast, those blasters are shell for me now yeah well and i've only ever seen them at this is the second walmart the first walmart i saw them out like three weeks ago but all of the boxes were crushed mm. so this was the second one i found and they were all minty so you no, know, it's funny. I got a shipping notice from Walmart the other day, and it said that my blaster has been pushed back until like November. Oh God! All of my, all of my Walmart pre-orders have been being pushed back a month to two months. I, I wonder if they can do like the Ghostbusters and like start pulling them off the shelves. And I wouldn't shit. trust. I wouldn't trust Walmart for anything. Yeah. Pre-order wise. Yeah, I pre-ordered yeah. cable back in July, and that, that's delayed. And they they <laughs> sent you a pack of jumper cables. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much just waiting for that. <laughs> Coax is yeah. what they sent them. Well, if anything <laughs> ever happens, he's a solid case pack when he shows up at a store. So I have a nice minty one just in case anybody needs it. I bought it just because I know a few people are like, oh, he sold out before I got him. So if anyone needs them, let me know. Cost plus shipping. Um, I had never seen this. This is yeah, Omega Constructs Alien. I Queen saw that. Alien. Yeah, I, I did. I saw that. So jumped on her expensive considering most of the pieces bucks, right? of our little. Yeah. It's only it's only two hundred pieces two thirty two. So they're getting they're getting into Lego price range. And then uh the uh McFarlane little splurge here for the little neck shark. Did you buy the McFarlane snake? The, cobra? Uh, the snake, yes. Yeah. These are the only two I want. The snake and the shark. So, All right. That was a lot. Sorry, everybody. But that's what happens when I go on my toy runs and find lots of stuff. Um, AAA says he loves the alien mega constructs. So, yeah. And that queen looks like it'll fit in. <laughs> and he's gone again. He's gone the queen again. looks like the queen looks like it will fit in, and then fit in what? Is, what what fit could he have, what? What are you saying? We're, 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 and, and we're <laughs> waiting. Fit in to, what? Fit in what? What is it? <laughs> we'll fit in well with the little <laughs> alien minifigures. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can get a whole Lego mini set for like twenty dollars. It's like a vehicle and a couple figures or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's... you pay about ten cents a piece with Lego, even mm -hmm. with the minifigure and that kind of stuff. So this was twenty bucks for two hundred and thirty-two pieces. It's right in there, but usually you should be getting Mega Constructs at like seven cents a piece to six cents a piece, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. So, but. Anywho, uh, we got some listener feedback and questions. First up, AAA, he says, do you think Hasbro will go deep with the G.I. Joe retro vehicle line? Uh, will we be getting Snowcat, Rattler, Vamp, Ram, Motorcycle, uh, Cobra Firebat, Night Raven? Night Raven would be a big one. And sorry, Peter, you sent me this twice, and I wasn't sure if there was a big difference, but he was even saying even the mighty G.I. Joe whale in those uh, retro packages. No, I don't think so. It, it, it's it too much self-space. Yeah. I think they're going to make, they said they were going to make the flag and then just shrink it down. Okay. <laughs> awesome. It's all, it's all this big. It's like the, yeah. the top gun yeah. aircraft carrier. <laughs> I mean, ju just think about it. the 25th line you used to get the armadillo a flight pod and two figures for $20. Yeah. yeah. And those were highly articulated figures. So now you're still getting one highly articulated figure in a vehicle for 25. I have no problem if they do the Cobra Moccasin. I, I hope they keep going with it. 
So, I mean, I have no problem with it. I don't think you see anything big. You're not going to see the Mobat, which they did. You're not going to see. I don't think anything's going to be small. It's going to be. Firebat you know, is doable. Snow Firebat, cat. Skyhawk. Yeah. yeah. You know, like the uh, the night landing craft, maybe, with Firefly or something. I think you're yeah. not going to see anything big, but for that price point, it's not bad. No. So. We didn't see the whale in 25th. I don't see we'd nope. see the whale in the retro line. Exactly. Yeah. And the Night Raven was the condensed one that was kind of had the electronic sounds and it didn't have the uh, the extra jet on it. The so drone. I don't think you'll see. Th- yeah, you're not going to see that either. Yeah, and it, and it was like completely remolded. It wasn't it yeah. wasn't the actual Raven mold, but um, yeah. So I agree. I think we'll see smaller, but yeah, I don't think they'll go as big as a snow cat. Yeah, like the vamp, the stinger, rather. yeah, things like that. You know, maybe cool, you know, serpent or air chariot or what's the you know, what's the motorcycle with the with the Gatling? Is that Ram? Is that the yeah, yeah. Ram? That's the Ram motorcycle. Yeah. Um, and just wanted to throw this on here from Glenn. He posted this when we announced the show uh, this morning. It says, you guys are doing an excellent job. The current lineup of hosts really works. And when you're all together, it sounds like you've been recording together for decades. Oh, Glenn. Oh, Glenn. Glenn. And then, uh, and then to spit in rocks and Lotus's face, Cliff is the best thing to happen to the show in a Aww. while. <laughs> I think he means sense, you guys. So poor Jay. <laughs> if Jay's what? listening to this, he's like, hey, I was on a few episodes. Come on. <laughs> well, I think Cliff just no, offers I, a different perspective. Yeah. yeah. No, he does. He, yeah. Different he, he knows, habits. Yeah, and, he, and Cliff knows a lot about, you know, a lot about actors and – you know, so I mean, there's there's a lot of other stuff that Cliff knows that help he helps with uh, to li- you know liven up the show a little bit. That's right. Um, all right, into grab bag. We're now at, at two and a half hours. Let's knock this out. Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back Retro Backpack. So, not only is this in the colors I like. I really dig this, that it's the instruction manuals that came with them. What are you looking at? You want to put the show notes back up? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thank you for reminding (laughs) me. Oh, I'm not even sharing my screen. So it's like, what? You're not even sharing anything. How are you going to show it? Here we go. There you go. So again, my colors, black, white, and red there. But uh, yeah, it's all the artwork from the instruction manuals themselves. That's cool. So that's, that's very cool. Again, probably not a, not a fifty dollar purchase. That's you know very me? niche. Very very niche product right there. Yeah. So I I I say niche. Let's go around the room. Do you guys say <laughs> niche or niche or niche? I say niche. Because I, I hear it all different ways. I say niche. I say I niche. say niche. I say niche, but I also I have a Long Island, New York accent, so who knows? So, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard it oh. say multiple ways. I just didn't know it, you know. <laughs> I wanted to see here imagery, zipper top and front pop. So I mean obviously the quality of this backpack for fifty bucks is not gonna be like anything real quality, right? It's just well, and that's no, what I was looking at. It looks weird. like they're trying to do like leather esque material. I mean, it's obviously not leather, but it's got that texture to it. At Shine, least. yeah, pleather, yeah. yeah. It's a pl- it's Toyota Corolla pleather. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we have in specs. Oh, no specs, but. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Again, I have a closet full of backpacks. I used to buy them fucking all the time, so I can't really justify that ever. Um, Shit, I totally forgot. I didn't even watch this Earthrise trailer. Well, do not watch it here, Slick. Yeah, I was going to (laughs) say. I've I've had a hard time watching that series. It's like... It's like the Lord of the Rings of Transformers. Like they're just walking and talking. I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? I, I paused it. I'm still stuck on the uh, third episode. <laughs> it's a little rough, but um, well, shit. I, I guess we won't talk about it. But just know the Earthrise trailer is out there. Um, 
uh, kind of like they did with the, uh, they did a cosplay contest for Star Wars and someone that did a Hera from Rebels won a fucking, won a Jabba sail barge, the person that got the number one. Um, so I don't know if somebody will win a Unicron with this. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says selected artwork will earn a commission uh, per item sold. Interesting. So uh, you've got to the almost to the end of the month uh, internationally for all all countries. So that's dope. I I mean that's a really cool thing. And then here's here's all the fucking. Uh, small print here, but yeah, I think that's kind of dope. Um, we've covered this before, but now it's like, I think it's officially released now. So this is, oh, hold on my computer. I just unplugged my external HDMI. Uh, so this is a life size, life size havoc staff. And this was the picture that I thought was really interesting. Oh, can I not zoom I'm in? Not sure. You gotta ah. share. Come on, Matt. Oh, I'm damn it. Well, cause I unplugged it. I mean, there what's go. somebody going to do with that thing? I, what, <laughs> put what, it what, in the corner. Put it on your wall. Yeah. On your wall. I mean, there's, there's, it's just like, it's just like the sword of omens. You know, there's a lot of people that are making the sword of omens right now. And you know, it's like 220 bucks. It lights up and it's a all metal construction. I think that's pretty cool. You know? I agree with you. I see people display swords. My brother's one of those people that has like knight helmets and armor and stuff like that. Yeah. But this yeah. is a big purple staff. Yeah, so with the ram head sits <laughs> next to your doorway, you know. You, just, you, you could put it oh early bird it. discount of fifty bucks. You tap, uh, it, you you could, tap it on your way out, you know. <laughs> you could put it in your umbrella holder if you got an umbrella holder. Yeah. That'll make the yeah. umbrella holder tip over. You could put it you could put it into a very large glass, a real tall glass, uh, <laughs> as a stir stick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say case. That's even. Yeah, like, yeah, I say give it a, <laughs> next is gonna say give it a King Kong as a toothpick. I mean, <laughs> eighty-one inches tall, six and three quarters, six feet, and what's three quarters? Nine inches tall. Jesus. That's so is this? Is right. this? I mean, all joking aside, is this for someone who is cosplaying? Is this a cosplay article? Um, Looks like a that makes replica. more sense than anything. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Let's see. I like what Brink do. said. I don't know. The do the prop is... replica people use their prop replicas for cosplay? Isn't that more for display? I don't know. I no, don't um, either. I've seen people use like five hundred dollar <laughs> props as part of their costume. Brink's comment is is absolutely yeah, the best thing I've great. seen. That's hysterical. We all should order one. It's when you walk around, you can social distance yourself. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that's too funny. Oh shit. Oh. So Cass on a on a serious note, Cass has thought about a Gandalf sword and staff. That would yeah. be kind of dope. Yeah. Putting them on a wall. Yeah. So yeah, I think it would I think it would depend on what the kind of material is if this is resin you wouldn't want to use it you know one hard ding or one drop and it would probably snap in the middle it's all metal according to the <sighs> oh jesus okay well can can you imagine being on the con floor and you got your book bag and you're trying to walk by you're trying to <laughs> go through a long box of comics and you got some asshole carrying that big staff <laughs> A you know he's gonna be posing, <laughs> look at me, like, like doing all these pictures to make a TikTok <laughs> or some shit. And he got this guy carrying this big fucking thing. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! All right, um, uh, GI Joe twelve inch vinyl coming. Music from GI Joe, a real American hero. This is kind of dope, man. I like that they're doing this. Um, a lot of stuff from the from the mass device here, it looks like. And then uh, different stuff from different episodes. I mean, this would be cool if you're a DJ. Any or cold a DJ. slither on there? Uh, oh, that'd be awesome. 
<laughs> Let's see, 20 questions. What was the cold slither? Was it called? Was it Lights Camera Cobra? No. Yes, I think it might be. Let's see. Let's do a quick thing. Uh, what was it? Cold Slither. Red right? Cold, cold Slither. Red Slither. Slither. coming for you. <laughs> a band of vipers. <laughs> oh, That's no. It was, oh. <laughs> it was. It was called Clo Cold Slither. So none on this one, unfortunately. But yeah. That's. <laughs> Let's just let's just take a look at some <laughs> images here. <laughs> some of the worst songs ever. IDW. I think this was a, a Jokon one, but yeah. And then this is this had uh this had Snake Eyes, right? In the ladies' dress and everything. Oh was that this yeah. one? Where they and were like he was in a oh, wig. Oh, and Shipwreck dress. was dancing. Is in Polly in a costume yeah. also? Deck yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I can't find any pictures. Maybe it wasn't that one. Might Lady one J and a little group. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> All right. Anyways, enough fun with that. Uh, <laughs> And then uh, this is this is kind of cool though for a collector room. Again, I couldn't find them on their regular site, so I don't know why they're only available for uh, wholesale people. But look at these; these are wall decals, original vintage one with Snowcat fucking logo, a Dreadnought logo. I like that. Um, let's see. Two and a half inches by one by oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know what those smaller dimensions are, but this is only a foot by eight inches, so this is really tiny here. But again, MSRP, what do they say? Oh, they don't even give an MSRP. Um, and then there was this one as well. This one looks much, much bigger here. The snake eyes. Looks like a fat head. Oh, I bet this is the snake eyes for this one. And then these are how big the other ones are relative to it. Yeah, this is 36 inches by 33 inches. So kind of cool for a collector room or something, you know? Not or, the too hoodie, or the hoodie of your car. Hey, hey, yeah. I don't know if the if the material is quite made for outdoor use, but just buy a bunch of them, and every time they get shitty, <laughs> crack and peel off. Put another one on there. I'm gonna put a nice cobra symbol on my door. <laughs> Hell yeah! I have I have some. Uh, I backed up into a pole one time, and uh, and I bought some rebel symbols. To put over it some like foot and a half by foot and a half rebel sold symbols never did though <laughs> just bought them and now they're in a box somewhere i used to like the little bullet holes people used to put in that car <laughs> you remember those the little bullet oh little yeah a bunch of them on there uh this one's kind of dope oh, big my. huge one fucking oh. big huge merle because that's that's just what you're your girlfriend, your significant other wants to see while she's uh, riding you cowgirl style. That if that doesn't get you in the mood, I don't know what would. If that doesn't make a girl wet, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, shit, we're almost going. can't take on. the blindfold off, Slick. She'll know where she is. <laughs> She'll see your face. <laughs> then I have to kill her. <laughs> And then you pull out the lightsaber, but it's not a lightsaber. It's a different kind of thing. <laughs> Double ender. Oh. Oh. oh, my God. I need to <laughs> breathe here a little. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. We, we still got as many people as we started with, which is impressive for a three-hour show. Um, so Cass... Uh, Eric Perez, Brian Brink, Triple A, uh, Paul. Um, I think that's all that chimed in in the chat about figs. One five five. 
Um, yeah, it, it's been fun. God, I love fucking having people in the chat too. It's so much fun and love having a full house here. This is probably the first show with all four of us in, in months. So I think I finally solved my Wi-Fi issues. That's part. Yeah, of it. you've you've had a beautiful. Connection. I turned my phone uh, off, and I, that's what I think really was causing a lot of interference. Huh? A lot of it. Yeah. Because you record on your iPad. I do on my iPad, but I was on this wrestling uh, podcast that streams live same way, and there was five of us on StreamYard. I turned my phone off, and it worked clear as day, so now I just shut my phone off. Apple hijacking signals. I Seriously, I think that's what it is, because I haven't had any problems. Like that one time, every time I went to go talk, I just dropped out, so well, it worked this time. Uh, it was fun. It was beautiful. You guys are beautiful. Including your Grand Max Lotus icon. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to meet Lotus. I, I, I am so excited that someday that will happen. Someday I will see him in person. It's driving. It's like when I first met Bobby Skullface in person. I'm like, oh, that's what he looks like <laughs> under that fucking mask because he never takes it off. <laughs> so, all right, guys. We'll uh, see you sooner rather than later. Or later rather than sooner. Peace. 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 Deuce, deuce. Cliff, say peace. You didn't say peace last peace. time. Peace. made me angry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fumbled in the broadcast.